Welcome to the Amstream. Welcome to the Zyphi Show this Friday evening. It's CPC Retro Dev Night tonight. Yay! <laughs> and it's one of my favourite, if not the favourite, stream of the year to do. Oh, I love the CPC Retro Dev. I've got nearly 40 new Amstrad games to do. And I can't wait. It's awesome. I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. And what a contest it's been. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Zygasm to start the stream. Can't wait. Love it. I love it. When well, Obviously, I love it when a new Amstrad game comes out. Because we, uh, you boys and girls know I get very excited when one new Amstrad game comes out. And we make that the featured game on the, Amst uh, on the Amstream. And you, love how, you know how I love supporting new Amstrad games. But 40... 40 new Amstrad games come out. Okay, well, actually, technically, uh, we, we get 38. 38 games. Sorry, 36. Sorry, 36. Um, get into the finals of the CPC Retro Dev. And I think two didn't make the cut into the finals. There was two semi-finalists. That makes 38. So, um, I think there was one that was disqualified. So there was actually 39 entrants this year. So nearly 40. 40. We're going to try and get through 36 of them tonight. So, yeah. Wow. And we've got some really freaking good games. Now, 
Um, what they did like last year is they, they released them on itch.io so you could go and download them and play them before the finals and the uh, award ceremony which happened earlier this evening. Quite a few of you were watching actually. So they do like a Eurovision style kind of like judging thing which happened about 6 o'clock this evening and went on for a couple of hours. You may have seen me on the, on their live stream from the University of Alicante. Um, I was a, I was a judge this year again, like the last few years, and I was judging the graphics and artistic quality category. And um, yes, my top three games was Dire Dare, Penguin Attack, and Castaway. Um, uh, um, I'll, I'll give you the rest of my uh, categories as uh, uh, games if you want uh, later on, if you if if, if anyone's interested. Um, so yeah, you, you might have seen me pop up for a five minutes and I had a chat on their stream. It's quite cool, quite a cool little stream now. We've done sort of Eurovision style with different categories and people coming on on their live stream to do their judging categories. Novabug, they, there's Novabug in the chat. He was a judge on there as well. Well done, Chris. Um, I think you were doing AI this year, artificial intelligence. And yeah, it was a kind of um, very, very close at the end. I think everyone had a penguin attack down as like that that game's gonna win and it was like the leader um runaway leader for quite a long uh quite, quite pretty much all the way through the competition but it was neck and neck with a game called castaway and uh, penguin attack was leading all the way through to the very last judge and then shock result at the end with castaway a game called castaway winning right at the end there's the results ladies and gentlemen the results of the competition, the winning game there, if anyone uh, missed it, uh, was a game called... Oh, sorry, I've got the bananas running there. Yeah, it's Bustle Confetti on Fireworks. Congratulations to a game called Castaway, who was this year's winner. Congratulations to Castaway. Clap, 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 clap. The Penguin Attack in second place. Second... The Penguin Attack was made by the game, uh, made by the uh, the uh, coders who did um, Shovel Adventure, who was last year's winner. But so that was um, Pat Marita team. They got second place this year. And in third place, Diadare from CNG Soft or Cesar. You may recognise that name. Um, uh, they uh, Cesar, uh, the guy behind the CPC EC emulator as well. He, he enters games every year and they always come like second or third. The guy behind Timothy Gunn, Wireware, um, uh, Basketmaster, um, and loads and loads of other games um, getting third place this year. Uh, yeah, Druid and Droid. Um, Leo Soft, who did uh, Gem Jam in fourth place there. Deep, deeper, deepest in fifth place. That was by the guy who did uh, that game I really loved last year called, um, damn it, I've just had a brain fart. Survive the Week. Remember that game where you had to like play as that guy who had to do like all those tasks? Um, like uh, collect his car keys, drive his car to work, and rescue, uh, rescue that guy that was really depressed and bring a love letter to him and stop him from jumping off the hospital and and uh, read the newspaper and go and uh, go and swim in the swimming pool or find his swimming trunks first and all that kind of stuff i love that game that's from that guy and it's based on the running man movie meet smash tv that's going to be really interesting to play goatfish 2 having sixth place that game was made by a member of the am squad a member of our community i can't wait to check that out and i'm really pleased goatfish 2 got number six there. Member of the Amp Squad made that. Hey! I hope it's made by a guy called Poppy Chicken, and I hope he's in the chat tonight. So, um, yeah, I'm so, so pleased. We've got a member of the Amp Squad getting a game in the, um, 50 Retro Dev, and also, um, getting quite high up there. Oh, our view count's got stuck again. It's been happening a lot recently. Better. Um, so yeah, we'll talk more about the games in a little bit. Let's just say uh, have a quick hello to everyone in the chat. Um, I'm not going to go through scrolling through the chat. I'll go for each and every one of you because one, we've got so many games to get through tonight. Two, we've got lots of students going to be joining in from the various bars in uh, Alicante in Spain, and they want to see their games. Um, 
two and three it's gonna be a very very long stream tonight <laughs> we've got nearly 40 games to get through uh and five i've got a long day tomorrow and i want to see my uh my my little son and see this is ifo tomorrow <laughs> and five i've got a i've got like a long night tomorrow ahead uh, ahead of me as well i've got a job to do as well dj so um welcome everybody let's have a quick uh, i'm gonna go from bottom to top so we've got pete walker there greetings pete walker the legend we got the <coughs> lovely Lady Andrea Wyatt in the chat. Hello, Andrea. 8-Bit Maniac. Hey, how you doing, my friend? Um, <clears throat> if you need to make a top, you clearly need a game called DDD. Um, deep, deeper, deepest. Yeah, what a name for a game. <laughs> David Watkins. Hello, David Watkins. We got a Fenrir in the chat as well. The budge how I Johnny Boy and a razor toast of Rio to you, Johnny Boy. Ahoy. And Nova Bug. Greetings, Nova Bug. But Nova Bug will be doing his bug stream tomorrow night. And I'm sure he'll be checking out some of the CPC retro dev games as well. And um, Chris Lord. Hello, Chris Lord. Actually, I'm gonna keep the CPC retro dev results up actually. Let's keep them up on the uh, screen, actually. Well, welcome Chris Lord. Um looking forward to seeing Castaway. Castaway, as I said on when I was on the um, retro dev stream earlier, reminds me of like a Spanish game, like from Opera Soft or something that could have been released in like 1986 or seven, full price, and we'd be talking about it like um, um, Living Livingstone, I presume, or something like that, like one of those classic mid mid 80s Spanish games. Uh, it, that, it's that good a quality. Really, really good stuff. Uh, Manuel Schultz. Hello, Manuel. And greetings to Annette as well in Switzerland. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, we've got Mirko. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I've had a bit of a cold. Work, welcome, Mirko. Greetings, Mirko. How are you doing, Mr. Mirko Ragovic? Bippy Stopper Gaming. Greetings. Hello, Bippy Stopper. Hey, Han. How are your puds doing? Hey, Han. Welcome, my friend. Nice to see you. We've got Dasadair. How you doing, Dasadair? Woohoo! As well, Retro Unlim. Bridget should have won. God damn it. Someone should make a, a sequel to Bridget and put it in the, in the Retro Dev. <laughs> a Bit Maniac. Greetings, my fellow Mode Nova, Mode Nought lover. Welcome, welcome. Francisco. GR, welcome, Francisco. Now, are you a coder in the uh, Retro Dev or part of the Retro Dev? Now, there's going to be some people coming in tonight that are new to the stream or maybe part of the retro dev but i may not know who you are and if you're a coder behind one of the games or part of the retro dev if so let me know who you are and like what game you 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 are part of so i might not recognize all the names and stuff but like yeah 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 I, oh so Velo. hello velociraptor how you doing dave um, no spoilers. I try not. I'll try not to do too many spoilers. Yeah, good point. Good point. How you doing, Velo? Sunmaster. How you doing, Sunmaster? Good to see you. Welcome again, Nish from CPT Game Reviews. Welcome, Nish. How you doing? Um. Yeah, N uh, Nish. Uh, I'm always rooting for C and G Soft a little bit. I, re I really want them to win one year. I think you need. Ni uh, <laughs> Caesar needs to give himself more than three weeks to make his game. And I think um, he did reuse a lot of assets from previous games. And he needs to give himself three months, not three weeks. <laughs> and I think he will win one year. He will. Just give himself more time. Um, and he will win. Mad Shovel! Greetings, Mad Shovel. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. How you doing, sir? Wayne! Mr. Wayne Jordan! Wayne, it's lovely to see you back, Wayne! How are you doing, my friend? Great to see you, Wayne. How have you been keeping, dude? We need to have some beers again at some point, Wayne. And thank you, Andrea Manshubble, for asking people to smash that like button and thumbs up. It does help get the stream promoted and pushed to new people um, who haven't discovered us yet. So thank you, everyone that's hit the thumbs up and the like button. I do appreciate that. Um, Sir Lister of Smeg, greetings Lister, welcome my friend, welcome, welcome, um, put the scroll up again on the chat, and then we'll get to the first game, um, 
Nightwolf Games, hello Nightwolf, welcome, how you doing my friend, Retro Uposts, welcome mate, great to see you doing so well on your YouTube channel, nearly a thousand subs, well done my friend, well deserved Rob, well deserved, make sure you go and subscribe to Retro Uposts for some excellent retro gaming content everyone, Robin Hook, Retro Games Wiz, how you doing Robin, how's tricks mate, Linford Pickle, how you doing Linford? How's your pickles doing, mate? Hopefully not too pickled. <laughs> and let me just scroll up a little bit further here. Um, let's see, hopefully I've not missed anyone. German78 moshing into the stream. How you doing, German? Welcome, matey. And uh, Gary Pinkett. Hello, Gary. Nice to see you, mate. Good to see you back on the AM stream. How's tricks? Warzord the board time lord arriving in his TARDIS. Welcome Warzord. And Leo Soft. Welcome Leo Soft. Excellent game. You entered in the competition. Leo, you know how much I loved Gem Jam. I absolutely adored Gem Jam. And I'm looking forward to giving um, um, Druid and Droid. Or Yeah, that's right. I got it the right way around, didn't I? Druid and Droid are really good playing. I only got a chance to give it, um, you know... Um, no more than like half an hour, an hour. So we don't get long to judge the games. We get the games and it's like, oh my god, we've got a few days to really like, get time to judge them and stuff. But Leo Soft, well done on getting fourth place this year. Well done, Leo Soft. Um, and Dasadair, welcome Dasadair. Very early in the chat there, welcome mate. And Zombie Peaks, very, very early in the chat there as well. Welcome in, welcome in. Right, I can now scroll back down, and uh, hopefully I've not missed anyone else there. Right, okay, so where was I? Okay, right, um, right, Main Haze, greetings, Main Haze, and Mr. Matt Myers there. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome in, welcome in, sirs. Um. Right, Matt Myers says that Zyza Frog is right a little bit tonight, a little bit. Um, and we will get on with it. We will get on with it, yes. Uh, Claude Rains, greetings, my friend. How's the Amsong treating you? Welcome, Claude. Uh, Magic Knight, hello, Magic Knight. Welcome in, sir. <laughs> How's tricks as well? And Interlace, nice to see you, Interlace. How's it going, my friend? Logica, welcome, Logica. Nice to see you, my friend, as well. Good evening. Wow, that was quick with the greetings tonight. I've done it really, really quickly. Excellent. Shall we get to the first game, ladies and gentlemen? I think we should. I think we should. Shall we get to Castaway? The winner of this year's CPC Retro Dev, Castaway. I think we should. So, uh, holla! Buenas noches to all our Spanish friends joining us tonight from the uh, CPC Retro Dev. They may be in a in a bar at the moment getting drunk, and I don't blame them. So, um, hang on, <laughs> hang on a second. We have a, we might have a little dono coming in from GP. Uh, I'll also just quickly explain as well um, the competition as well for anybody that doesn't quite know what's going on with it. That's why right, so I can't wait to see all the cool games. We've done, we've done the intros quite quickly tonight. GP. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I had the alerts muted by accident. So I should replay that for GP. Hello, GP. Don't worry, don't worry you can do text to speech. It's okay, GP. You can do the te you can do text to speech. That is absolutely fine. Ignore what I said in the Discord. That's that's fine. <laughs> Hang on, I shall replay that for you. <laughs> GP, thank you very, very, very much for the three pounds for the super chat. <laughs> Says, was your game entered into the contest? <laughs> no, Yellow Belly didn't enter it into the contest. He should have done the silly sausage. He would have done right. But he's only done it for ant streams so far, as you know. But oh, he wouldn't be if when he does the Amstrad version, the, the for emulators and real hardware, he could do. But I think he the rules are it can't been released on another 
prior to the competition, so the rules would exclude it from being entered. You mean Zypho's Nightmare, don't you? Thank you, GP. Thank you very, 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 very much, my friend. Thank you very much to £3. So just to reiterate, just thank you, GP. Bananas in the chat for GP there. Just to, just to clarify for everyone, this... <laughs> thank you, Polly the Parrot, for the one pound. GP has been absolutely vicious with me recently. All I want to do is love him and share my feather mites with him. Thank you, Polly the Parrot, for the one pound. Oh dear, poor Polly the Parrot. What a shame. Thank you, Polly the Parrot, for the one pound there. I'm sorry to hear that, Polly the Parrot. I'll have words of GP later. Thank you very, very, very much. So the CPC Retro Dev is a yearly game creation contest. It's, it's held at the University of Alicante in Spain. It's pro it was primarily for the students on their university course. I'm just going to mute alerts just for a second here while I explain this. Um, it was held it, it's held, it primarily, primarily, primarily for the students on their computing course as a way um, as, for their, for actually, for their real, this is for their real coursework. And, um, and actually forms part of their actual real you know, results. Um, they have to create a game um, using a real Amstrad CPC 464 and to make it interesting for them. And the, the professor there, um, Francisco Galigo, um, got them, instead of getting, getting them to create it on a PC, got them to create it on an Amstrad CPC 464 because that was the computer he grew up with and loved. Um, so to make it interesting, there's, go on then, you've got to create it on an Amstrad CPC 464 the C, um, They gave them tools like the CPC Tellera Which uh, I think he had a hand um, in helping create Which is like a game creation tool for the Amstrad CPC 464 Along with a bunch of other tools as well that are readily available um, Which is like a little, it's like a framework And there's like things like that helps with like uh, moving sprites around the screen there's tools there for helping scroll on the Amstrad and all that kind of stuff. And um, and so, yeah, the students like really responded well to it. We did an interview with Fran last year on the Amstream, by the way, and he, he explains all this. And it's a really interesting interview. You can go and watch that um, after the stream if you want. Um, but it went down so well with the students, and they really, 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 really enjoyed it, that Fran opened up the competition, not just students, but from to anyone from all over the world. So now um, everyone from the Amstrad scene can take part along with the students. And obviously it's grown and grown over time. And now we have the amazing teams like the Pat Marita team for their Penguin Attack game and Shovel Adventure. We've had uh, you know, the um, uh, obviously CNG soft with their amazing, with his amazing games. Um, we've had, what was it of course? Um, the abduction of Oscar Z. You know, Operation Alexandra, Barber's Palace, all these fantastic uh, teams like Four Megahertz team and all that would be their be amazing games. So, and now we're now in the tenth year of the CPC Retro Dev, and it's an amazing, amazing thing. And now we get like nearly forty games every year. So that's a quick summary of the CPC Retro Dev for anyone that doesn't know. Hopefully that explains it. So um, anyway, time for the first game. And the winner of the CPT Retro Dev passed away at the, in the first place there. And, and, and this stream, we're going to start with the first place and work our way down the list. So we'll start with Castaway, then we'll do Penguin Attack, Dire Dare, Brood and Droid, Deep Deeper Deepest, Goatfish 2, etc, etc. Until we get to uh, Asteroid Strike. <laughs> Unfortunately, last place there was zero points, but that's how we will do things. Do things. Okay? Alright, okay. Get rid of that. It's time for Castaway. Here we go. Are you ready? Castaway. Look at that loading screen. 
Wow, isn't that beautiful? Really lovely loading screen. Eating. Oh, look at this beautiful animated title screen. Into the borders as well. Lovely music. I've been Americanified, yes, Matt Myers. Henri! Henri Medoc! Bonsoir! Salut! Ça va, Henry? How you doing? Al K, greetings, my fellow Al. Welcome. A lot of people going, wow. <laughs> what a great start to cast away. <laughs> Beautiful. Guys, I'm just going to get a quick drink from the fridge. I'll let you just enjoy this music just for another 30 seconds there. Tom Hanks, I will replay that in just a second. Sorry. about that. Tom Hanks has donated one pound. For the Castaway movie. This is the official movie tie-in. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Hanks. I'm guessing, is that man shovel? Oh, it's, uh, I think that was Velo was that Vel Velociraptor. That was Velo. The previous one was sorry, Polly the Parrot. That was Manchival. Thank you, Manchival, for the Polly the Parrot. That was Velo. Was Tom Hanks. Thank you, Velo. Thank you, <laughs> Anthony Doyle. Good evening, Anthony. Alex, look, how you doing, Alex? Welcome. I think what we should do is, on this one, have a look at the manual very quickly. Um, so I'm going to show you the manual. Okay. The cast away the manual, just very quickly, so you know what's going on. I think I need to read this as well. From the TT. Alright, okay. Introduction. Two weeks before his wedding... Tom, not Tom Hanks, but Tom Rowland, was sent abroad for a very important job. Um, he couldn't say no if he wanted to be promoted. In the middle of the flight, uh, in the middle of the night, and due to bad weather, the plane suffered an accident and Tom survived. Uh, unconscious, he woke up on an island beach. What happened? Where am I? He asked himself. Would be there alone. Now he must build a raft to go away there and be in time for his wedding. Will he get it? It depends on you. Right, okay. Again, uh, you handle Tom Rowland and he has to get four mandatory objects to get away from the island. An axe, cut tree trunks, the best island's wood to build a raft. Right, a cord roll to join, uh, to join the cut trunks. So I think it's probably like a rope of some description. Piece of fabric to use as a sail. A map of the route to escape from the island. Who, who did leave it there? Okay. Um, 
Probably some of the objects he has to look for are in the island's can island cannibals' huts. Seems Tom is not alone. Right, Tom will have to be very careful because they are anxious to eat fresh meat. How sweet, fresh meat. And very possibly too, the huts are closed. But he could be granted access if he finds the correct key that opens the door, individual hut's door. Wow, the cannibals have developed locks and keys. Right, okay. <laughs> Tom is faster than the cannibals, but they are stronger than him. If they catch him, he will have failed in his mission. Uh, he will never see his beloved girlfriend again, and worst of all, the cannibals will eat him. Lovely. Uh, also, there are camouflage snakes that if they bite Tom, he will lose energy and hydration. Find some objects that will help him in his mission. Saws, cut trees of logs, sickles, cut some weeds. Right, okay. Swords and sickles, we just have to use them because they are of poor quality, so they're like one use items, okay? Uh, boards across creeks on the island, and they will, they will stay there. Hang on a second. Ah! Bloody hell. Oxford C64 homebrews. Homebrewers has donated three pounds. If one can dedicate himself to the art of coding then one spends many hours without leaving his seat until that seat is as brown as his trousers, because one hasn't time to use the gents. Good grief! Thank you, oh, thank you, um, Oxford C64 Homebrewers! Thank you very much for the free pounds there! Thank you, um, thank you, that was, I mean, that was GP! <laughs> One can dedicate himself to the art of coding, then one spend many hours without leaving your seat until that seat is brown as his trousers. As reference to the C64's brown colour palette there. Thank you, Oxford C64 homebrewers. Can we have some bananas in the chat there for the, um, <laughs> the Commodore 64 brown... <laughs> the poor brown colours of the C64 there. Thank you, Chiefy. <laughs> A very generous three pounds there. Thank you very much. Sorry, guys. I will spin on the instructions. Here. I need, I need to read this because I'm about to play it. I need to know. What, remind myself what need what I need to do here. So we need a torch. We're going in caves. A ball. Uh, why? Maybe you discover it. You might need a ball at some point. Antidotes if a snake bites you. And envelopes to bribe the cannibals. They don't know what it's for. But they love its smell and its touch, and they will get, they will leave Tom alone, right? Okay. Uh, Tom has a backpack that can hold seven items. He can exchange the items, right? Okay. Uh, and there's water bottles, hydrate, food supply bags, cover energy. Right. Okay. Okay. That's cool. Thank you, Johnny Boy, for the explanation there. Sorry, I need to read that myself, guys, because, um, yeah. Okay. Okay, right. Sorry, uh, catch up with the chat there quickly, and we'll get into the game. Um, yeah, thank you, Francisco, who said read the manual first. Yeah, yeah. I needed, I needed to read that there. Sorry, guys. I know you're anxious to see the game, and we will get into it there. Vimster, good evening, Vimster. Alex, look, good to see you there. Right. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, sorry if I missed any chat there. Let's go. And here we are on the beach. Um, Pat Marita team. Hello, Pat Marita team. Let me just pause there a second. Pat Marita team, welcome. Pat Marita team, of course, behind our second place game tonight, Penguin Attack, which we'll, we will be looking at next. Pat Marita team. Congratulations to Pat Marita team. Um, well done. Well done. Hey, uh, have we got the clap? We need to give them a clap, don't we? Have I, have I got my... Um, oh, I haven't got that ready. Never mind. Never mind. Congratulations, Pat Marita team. Um, well done on your second place. That is fantastic. And I cannot wait to give that game a good playthrough tonight. Well done. Oh, look at this. Oh, look, you leave footprints in the sand as you move. Look at that. H-E-L-P. He's spelt out help in the stones. Oh, 
there was a cannibal chasing me. Ah! Oh, look, there's a board there. Okay, we get the board. Oh, check out the music. Hey, John Baker, welcome to the stream there. Welcome, welcome, John. Uh, so, brilliant games, this is this is Ratchet Dev. Well to cast away to everyone that took part. Amazing to see the CPC scene thriving. Oh, it is well and truly thriving. I mean, last week, we checked out Toki on the Amstrad, a big new release. And we've got more big games coming very soon as well. It's just an amazing time to be a, 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 a fan of the Amstrad. It's brilliant. All the C64 games look brand since GP. GP, thank you very, very much. Have a dancing Lord Sugar for your £3 dono. Thank you, GP. Cheeky GP there. Thank you, GP. Lots of love to GP. That was really kind of you. Thank you, GP. And Anna, greetings, Anna. How are you, how are you doing, Anna? Welcome. Welcome in, Anna. Pocket Zero. Be a long time until you get deploy the arse candles tonight, Anna. Oh, our hydration's going down. And I'm chatting away. Sorry. Oh, there's another board thingy there. I think that's a board. Got a bandage there. Uh, oh, there's a sickle there. I think a sickle cuts through bushes that are in your way. Oh, there's a hut there. How do we get to the hut? That's a saw that will cut through a... Will that cut through a tree? What's that thing I just picked up? Oh, I use a board there, and that board will get across. It gets across the water. Wow. Okay. Ah, oh, look. Is a cat? Is this a cave? I can't see anything. I can't go on. I need help from something or someone. Wow. Energy's going down, Zyke. Oh, yeah, we need a hydration. Yes. Hydration. Back. Thank you. No, good bug, you're right. Oh, we need a key to go in the heart. those sickle things that oh yeah that was that's where we just fit oh hello oh there's one of those envelope thingies already got one of those bandages probably don't need that oh what's that bag thing Oh, that was energy. Oh. Play that sickle. And that's a board for crossing over the water thingy. snake hidden in the tree there. Let's put a board over there. Oh, we can get over there. Ah! Put those as 
snake. I think we could get past it. Oh no! The snake bit me! But we had a bandage, so we're okay. Let's get past. Ow! Oh! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Kind of stuck there. Okay. Hey, Music Man! How you doing, Music Man? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Let me just pause there just a second. Let me just catch up the chat. And let's just see what people are saying about the game. Shame I can't pause and have the music. Is, is there a pause key in this? So we can have the music still playing. Um... Escape. Escape is pause. Let me just check. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hang on. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. We've got a pause key. Wow. You didn't lose energy. Yes, because we had the... I think we had the bandage. Yeah, yeah. Francisco, Francisco, are you a coder in the CT Retro Dev? I think I asked this earlier. Are you just... Are you just um, um, a friend, friend watching the stream? Yeah. Uh, Music Man, how you doing? How you doing? I'm really good. I'm just loving the CBC Retro Dev. Loving it. And as I said, CBC uh, was nearly dead for good about 10 years ago, Zypho. It's one of the reasons it made it. Don't tell though, he's funnier when grumpy. I would... Uh, I was one of a small number of... I, I'm a small part amongst many, many, many people like Nova Bug. And more importantly, um, the people, the coders who made new games like the Easter Egg Team and made the R Type remake, the guys who made the Orion Prime game, like in 2000, was it 2008? And others who've made games that, like, if the people had made the game, new games, you know, there wouldn't be me being able to cover them and get people excited about them. Without those, without these new games, you know, I'd be just sat here, like, playing Robocop and Renegade, and that, that, that would got that would have got very boring very quickly, wouldn't it? So, thank, but thank you, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I love that little touches of footprints in the sand, Pete. Yes, agree. Atmospheric music to Nova Bug. I love the tunes here. Yeah. This needs a proper hamstring of its own. I agree, Velo. I think next week on Twitch, guys, I'm going to probably pick one game, like on Monday, and have a good playthrough of it. This may be Monday's game. Tuesday might be Penguin Attack. Wednesday might be another one or something like that. I'm going to be giving each of these games a good playthrough. Yeah. Uh, not speaking English, don't understand, sorry. Oh, sorry, Francisco. I was wondering if you're one of the uh, coders behind one of these retro dev games. Just checking. <laughs> BSC, welcome, welcome to the Amstream. Hello, hola. Oh, bonsoir. Matt Corbin loves the music, it's kind of spooky. Yes, yes. Right, I, I better crack on, unless I miss any comments. Get it here first, there's a small part. In the Amstrad scene, Velo. Hi, BSC. Hi. Enough of this nonsense. Where is the Robocop and Renegade? Plenty of streams to that. Right, okay. So we're kind of stuck here. Ah, he got stuck behind the trees. I can't see a way out of here. We need a sickle. Damn it. So this area is we're kinda we're kinda stuck here. Uh oh. Uh, okay. 
Okay. And also our hydration is getting low. Our hydration is getting low. So we need a key. Another saw there. Okay. Oh, a cave. Huh? Okay. All right, we need to find hydration quickly. This is back at the start, isn't it? Okay. Hydrate. Oh, hydration! Not for that. Right. Didn't we find... We found a... Ca we found... We, we found... Uh, didn't we find, like, a hut? Before, didn't we? Where was that hut? We just go back the way we came. Uh oh. Where was it? Ah! Was that where was that hot? I'm abusing the flick screen a little bit. <laughs> I need a map for this game. The hut round here was Where was that freaking hut? Uh, we're at the beach again. God damn it. Find Yoda. Simmy! Hello, Simmy! How you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. And we've got Retro and Lim in the chat. I think I saw there. I think we've gone. I think we've gone too high. It was like over. Where was it? It was like over. Actually, there was a sickle there. Let's let's take that sickle because we might need that. Sickle will cut down like the green bushes, won't it? Those of you just joining in, this was the game in first place. Awesome. Go away, cannibal. Kind of abusing the, the uh, flip screen there, but sod it. Ah! Oh no, I accidentally put down something. I didn't want to do that. Another key. Hydration and energy. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> Hydration's really low. Oh no. Energy. We need hydration. I saw... Hydration up up here on the beach, but it was further up. I, 
Oh, no. You are dehydrated and can't continue, and Native will find you, and probably, probably you serve as food. Wrecked. Oh. Oh, no. I've got eaten. Wrecked. <laughs> there we go. Quality game. <laughs> what do we think to that, boys and girls? No scores out of ten. We're not scoring games or rating them. But like, I want your like thoughts and opinions and stuff. And I think we'll like, we'll give it another little play. Um. Oh, Francisco is a coder. Oh, as a, a one of these games, Pat Marita. Right. By Jack the Hutt. <laughs> uh, Fenrir says, I'm always amazed by the creativity, creativity and innovation stretching up as well. You always get some very original, varied games appearing. One thing I love, it's not just 40 shooter lots of platformers. Exactly. I love how creative this is. Exactly. It's, 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 quite, it's, it's pretty original. And they've gone for something different. It's not just a scrolling shoot em up or something like that or a, another platformer. So. There was a torch. Did I miss a torch, Francisco? Uh, Anna says you can exchange objects. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> May, uh, Matt Corby says drink the puddle water, you'll be fine. Uh, May May says you could have you put this out last month with zombies instead of can cannibals. Oh, for Halloween, it could be a zombie island. Yes. Yes. Um. Damn it. Not an ad So, BSC, I didn't do the first speedrun of this game. Sigurbjorn! Good evening, Sigurbjorn. How you doing, my friend? OJBs, how's things as well? Welcome. Exotic Geek says, well done, Zypho. Is that. I I'm uh, yeah, I'm for dinner, basically. Yeah. Pretty polished. Nightwolf Games says awesome. Matt Corbin says quality game. Manager was says Portazo. Wrecked. Yeah. Um, Manager was says quite a cool looking game. Uh, uh, quite fun to watch. Yeah. Um, Nish from CPC Game Review says very good game and a deserving winner. I think I've only scratched the surface on this game. I think there's a lot more to it, and there's a lot more depth. So we're going to have another little play, because um, I think this deserves a little, just a little bit more time before we move on to Penguin Attack. Good news to see, see the appearance of the T-Team. So this is a new coding team called the T-Team. So coding graphics by Galagux. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Graphics by Javi Fedez. And music by Riskwood. So this, I think, I, I presume this is their first game on the Amstrad as a team. Uh, the, the, I, I'm not, I don't recognise the name, but if this, if this is their first game, and this is a new team of coders on the Amstrad, this is really exciting. This is really exciting. So we could have, like, you know, just think, like, you know, when, when the... Um, or Megahertz team first appeared on the Amstrad and then we got like a series of like new games from them. Barber's Palace, Operation Alexandra and all that kind of stuff. I think, I think that was 4 Megahertz. I think it was, yeah. Yes, I think so. <laughs> um, we, know, we had like Tullin appear who did um, oh, Chris Odd Prelude and then um, Oh god, I've had a brain fart. Um, uh, 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 yeah, the, the abduction, then the abduction of Oscar Z, and then you know, etc. Then Pat Marita team, shovel adventure, penguin attack. Uh, you know, this, this could be a start of like some really, really cool games. I love the music as well, Henry. The music is awesome on this. 
Yes, OJBs. Yes, clever technique. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's have another little go. We're going to have another little go. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Take that. We'll have a little, a little explore a little bit further, like around the beach area. That's food, isn't it? Those little bags are food. We don't need that. Have a look, 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 look around the beach. Ah, right. There's some hydration there. No, that's there. Plank of wood. Take that. Bandages. Take one just in case. Carry seven items. Oh, a snake appeared. I think the snakes are a bit random. Need to go. Yeah, enemies randomly appear. Um, so we're going to need to put one there so we can get round here. Dickle. I see. Plank. I will take a signal here. Okay. So I'm just going to explore the outskirts here. Plank there. There's a sickle there. If we need it in a sickle. Sickle there. Door. Ah! Okay. A letter, which we don't need. This is the furthest we could go up. I just want to see how big the game is. Oh, that cuts down a small tree. Ah. Right, this area seems to be cut off a little bit, so we're going to cut down a bush there so we can go up here. What's this? Oh! Oh, my big friend, Willy! You always inspire me. I feel like I could make a fire. What the hell is this item? What the hell is Willy? <laughs> don't, don't clip that. Hello, uh, hey Barry Marode, old Malamut. Volleyball. It's not a Willy. What the hell's Willy? It's Wilson. That's the Wilson of the game. I've not actually watched Castaway before, by the way. Wilson is a brand of balls. Oh, is it? Is it the ball? What does it say in the manual about the ball? Uh, a, oh, a ball carried in his suitcase while I made to give it and Cashy Richie Island. Oh, right. Okay, so it's the ball. Oh, okay. It doesn't tell you what the ball could be used for. Willy ball. I've never seen Cashy. I know what will, and I know Wilson. Come on. Okay, all right. Wish I could make a fire. Oh, there's his face. Right. Oh, hydration's getting a bit low. There's a hyd There's a thing to hydrate there. Oh, hang on. What's this thing here? I, I, I want to. I don't want to use an item there. Hang on. What's this? It's a bandage. Right, okay. In a castaway, Tom Hanks befriended a volleyball with a face on it. Ah, oh, okay. You know what, I love the sound of the crashing waves in this. That isn't, uh, that's really nice. Ah! Okay. 
And that's a, is that a letter? That's a letter. Don't need the letters. Right, I just wanted to see how big the game area is. Hydration is pretty low. We're going to need hydration soon. Crap, and energy. Where was the hydration? It was... God. Hydration. There. And we're going we're gonna to need to find some food. Hang on. <laughs> Whoa! Free Willy has donated five pounds. Oh my god! Wow, thank you very much, Free Willy! Evenings, I, Am Squad, and all the Ams fans out there. <laughs> Big Mahusiv 8 bit love to the lot of you, absolute beauty. Oh, I know who that is. Penguin attack for the win. P.S. I'm a little bit too drunk. <laughs> I know exactly who that is. That's Mr. Lewis Waddington. Hello, Lou Waddo. Exclamation mark bananas or exclamation mark doggo in the chat for Lou there. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Lewis, for the very, very generous five pounds there. Thank you, Lou. How you doing, Lewis? No! I hit escape by accident! Oh no! Oh no! I'm so sorry guys! I hit the kill button by accident. I am so sorry! Alright, we only had a little exploration there. I am so sorry. I am so... Oh, God. But, respawning us in here, I think we have just found the axe. Or is that a torch? I think we have just found the axe. Is that an axe or a torch? Weirdly, and that's interesting. That means the items randomly spawn in in different locations every time of the key items. I think that's the torch. Ooh. And we got a key. There's the map! There's the freaking map! Oh, this is a good run. You know what? I'm going to take a save on this. This is actually a good run. <laughs> I'm actually taking a save on this. <laughs> this is actually a good run so far. Great music on this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry um, for um, like quitting them. But we were only having a little explore around anyway. But uh, yes, how long have we been playing this for anyway? Oh god, actually, we've been playing for quite some time. Music is sensational on this, Lewis. Yes. This area is mostly a dead end. We need to get out of there. How do we how do we get stuck in this area? Oh yeah, we need to go out and around here. Uh how did I get in here? A map of the uh, or latest Amsterd action. <laughs> Oh, here. Yep. 
do some hydration probably. Ah, there you go. The high we had a high last time we had a hydration in that cave, and it's different. So the low item locations are different every time you play the game. That is interesting. Wow. Uh oh. Hydration. There you go. Oh no, I just wasted an item there. If yeah, the time the stream finishes, we'll be starting. I think we need to move on to Penguin Attack very shortly. We know we've got a hydration there. There's a sickle. I want to get, oh, there's a key there, we'll leave the key for now, we want to get to a hut or a cave, and see what's in a hut or a cave, that'll be cool, before we move on, if we can. Right, it's not a torch I've got then, it, it's the axe. Let's find a hut quickly if we can. Right, I'm going to take a save there. Let's find a hut if we can. I'm going to save my plank just for now. Where was the hut? Have a look over here, quick, then. Hot! I haven't got a sickle to get to it, I think. God damn it! Right, let me just reload. Gonna be the split screen until yeah, he sorts off. Oh, it's right there. I need that saw. Right, I know how to get there. I know how to get there. Go across here. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we'll go across here. Damn it. Gotta wait for that native to sod off. Right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Right, here we go, here we go. Can we get in the hut? Oh, he won't let me in. Oh. I'm not trying to finish it. I just want to get in the hut. Maybe this... Oh. Oh, so this key won't work in the heart. Let's get out, Zana. It's Reno Fire, how you doing? Oh. What's this? Oh, maybe this key, you have to get the right key for the right heart? Oh. Wrong key. I'll just have a look at the instructions quickly. Uh, necessitas a tener le clubs. What does that mean, man? Shovel. Very 
when possibility the huts are closed, but he could be granted access if he finds the correct key that opens the door in the individual hut's door. Oh. You have to find the right key for the right hut, it says in the, in the manual. So, oh, okay. Never, never mind. Okay, so what we're going to do then, we are going to move on from... We're going to move on from Castaway then. But that... that so you got to find the right key, the right hut. Damn it. Ah. That was the winning game. We were, yeah, we're still on the first game, Smoothie. But we're just going to move on from that now. So you just saw a bit of the first game, the winning game tonight. We were going to give it, the first game, a bit of extra love. The winning game, of course. We're gonna, we were going to give it a bit of extra time because it was the winning game. And also, because it's quite an in-depth game, there's a, there's a lot to it. So, I wanted to try at least get into, like, a, over a cave or a hut to see what happens. See, like, something, yeah. But, um, yeah, but never mind. We didn't quite get there. Never mind. But, cool. Well done to Castaway for winning the Secrecy Retro Dev. Have we got the exclamation? Have we got an exclamation mark clap command working? We do. Exclamation mark clap in the chat for Castaway. Well done, Castaway. Well done. Well done. And, uh, yeah, we do. We'll give it a round of applause for Castaway. Congratulations, Castaway. Well done. Well done. For winning CBC Retro Dev 2022. An excellent, excellent arcade adventure there. My feelings are on this one. Like, this could have been a full price commercial game released by a Spanish software house like OfferaSoft or Dynamic. More like OfferaSoft or something like that in like 1986, 87, 88. And honestly, it could have fitted in like nicely alongside Livingstone, I presume, or any of those games, full price back in the day. And we, we would have been talking about it being a classic Spanish full price game. Do you remember Castaway alongside Livingstone, I presume, and all those other games from full price back in the day? And, um, and we'd be talking about it being one of the better games. Honestly, it's that good. It's that good. And I, I think it deserves it. Um, well deserved winner there. I think it was really close between this and Penguin Attack. It's so close, so close. But well done, well done, Castaway. Thank you everyone for giving the applause in the chat there. Neil from RMC. Oh, hang on, hang on. How you doing, Neil? Pat, hang on a second. Pat McNoles. The real is this the real Pat McNoles? Eighty three pound dono there. I love Zypho and RMC, not sure who I would marry most. <laughs> well, that's one way to greet uh, Neil from RMC. <laughs> How you doing, Neil? And Pat McNoles. Our <laughs> GP. GP, thank you very, very much for the three pounds there. Um, you, can you can marry Neil from RMC. That's, that's fine, GP. <laughs> he's, lo he's a lovely man, our, uh, 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 our Neil from the cave there. Thank you, GP, for the uh, for the three pounds there. Right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, GP. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our game in second place from the Pat Marita team. It's time for Attack of the Penguin. It's Penguin Attack. Oh yes. Oh yes, I freaking love this game. Here we go. Where are we? Let's get my disc ready here. Shall I extract it? Best if I do, actually. All right, bear with me a second here. Done. Hang on. All right. 
We have got some awesome games coming up here. We've even got a game that is like Worms on the Amstrad coming up in a little bit. We've got a game made by a member of the Am Squad. Um, we've got a game based on the, the film The Running Man from Ar with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Honestly, we've got some absolute crackers and really interesting stuff. We've got a game called Oh No, My Moustache coming up. And also, if you're a fan of the heavy metal band Iron Maiden, you're going to love Bewitched or Be Dead. Yes. <laughs> anyway. All right. Time for Penguin Attack, ladies and gentlemen. Our second place game. Oh, my God. It was so close. Penguin Attack was in the lead all the way through, I think, um, the um, the competition in the uh, when the votes were being done in the earlier live stream. And then right at the very, 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 very end, on the last, on the last judge, Castaway just pipped it at the post. The time for Penguin Attack. Here we go. Penguin Attack. Hang on, I've got a fast disc loading going. Hang on one second. Let me just turn that off. Fast. Right. Penguin Attack. Let's enjoy the loading screen. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Look at that lovely loading screen there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, you got penguin. E oh, there you go. I'm going to set a night bar command. Oh, nice little jiggle there. Oh, MG. Hello, MG. Welcome into the stream. Welcome in. Hey, you can do exclamation mark penguins in the chat now. Racing the beam. Hello, racing the beam. How you? How you doing? Welcome in. GP. Good night, GP. You gotta go. No worries, my friend. Thank you for the donos, GP. <laughs> I'm sure Rhett, uh, um, Neil from RMC enjoyed that as well. <laughs> Take care, my friends. Good night and have a great weekend. You've never heard of Iron Maiden? Don't don't believe that for a second, Velo. Things you've requested like Megadeth on Marvels. Lovely title screen here. It's like an attack, a, a track sequence on an arcade game. And I've said on the uh, live stream earlier, this reminds me of. Um, it's re oh, Neil's up for, down for sharing me with UGP, apparently. Um, this reminds me of like a, an, an arcade coin up from Konami in 1985 or 86 or something. It's really, really that good. My view count's got stuck again. Bloody hell. Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Look how cute this is. Catch the fish. Gotta catch that fish. And I'm controlling the penguin at the bottom there, throwing snowballs at the other penguins. Oh, I missed the fish. Catch the fish. Do a little slidey move like that. That gets you out of trouble normally. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Because I miss a fish, I don't get a bonus at the end. Good job! Exclamation mark penguins in the chat. It's Cabal with penguins. Good call, Retro on Lim. Now octopus. Do you, do you get octopus in the Arctic or Antarctic? Hey! 
Good job! Bubble Bubble Music Vibes is an overbug. Ready? I'm gonna miss the I missed the fish. God damn it. Oh, I stood the wrong way and I missed another fish. Hey! <laughs> oh, it's a bonus stage. We'll do the bonus stage and then I'm gonna pause. Uh, catch up the chat properly. Lovely music. Sounds like New Zealand story a little bit. Hey! 100%! Let's go! Perfect! Penguin point, point blank, yeah. I'm just gonna pause there just for a second. What are we thinking to this so far? Wow. Jesus, what's upset these penguins, says Matt Corbin. <laughs> MG, what do you think to penguin attack so far? Pamarita team, of course, are in the chat here who made this game. Well, Pamarita team, I am loving this so far. Uh, you already knew that anyway. Worthy of an arcade machine, says Francisco GR. I agree. Oh, this is time for new, new, new. <laughs> this is using the Mojon Twins Mark 1 engine. Oh. That penguin is looking for trouble. <laughs> um, Lewis is loving this. <laughs> Was that a sound from Street Fighter, says Magic Knight? I don't know. Which, 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 which sound are you referring to? Matt Myers says this game is so cute. Um, there's a hint of Mario music, says uh, Neil from RMC. Yes, yes. Aeon says, no shade, but I prefer to play this game in the previous one. Oh, yeah, totally. This is definitely more of an arcade uh, pick up and play, you know, straight dive straight in arcade action. The other one is more adventure You know, you've got to. The other one, probably, you might need to sort of maybe map out a little bit, plan out. It's more of a, a relaxed. It's two di totally different types of game. Appeals to different types of gamer. This is more straightforward action in your face. The other one's more relaxed and more of an adventure type game. It appeals to different types of people, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Sure's like octopus in the Arctic, just go with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a feel of that. Uh, yes, um, Retro Limb. Got that feel of the um, those levels in uh, combat school where you have to shoot the targets, definitely. Ahon gives it 10 out of 10. <laughs> As does OJBs. Lister says if you saw this in an arcade in the 80s, you'd feed in the 10 p pieces. Absolutely agreed. If this was like 85, 86, made by uh, Konami, you'd be playing this, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Paul Fenry Henderson says, this looks pretty awesome. Loving what I'm seeing here. I'm downloading these games as we go uh, through them to play tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sorry. Exclamation mark. CPC Retro Dev 2022. I'll give you the link to the Retro Dev website and also the itch.io page of where you can download the games as well. Uh, Henri says, even if I love the winner, I think I would have voted this one first. Yeah, it's so close between Penguin Attack and um, uh, Castaway, isn't it? Oh. Do you know what, as well? I think, I think... 
I think I prefer this to Shovel Adventure as well. Oh no! I got wrecked. I love Shovel Adventure. But I think I slightly prefer this to Shovel Adventure. Maybe, uh, both Shovel Adventure and uh, this is made by the same team, Pat Morita. Letter. Ah, you're ganging up on me. How smoothly is moving? No. Oh, I've done it. AD Sneaker Freak, how you doing, AD? Angels is very arcadey. Igloo and the giant wall. Oh, hang on. <laughs> the penguin has donated one pound. <laughs> Thanks, Pat, for making this game. When I'm not tormenting Batman, I relax with a bottle of whiskey and play Penguin Attack. I fully endorse this message. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, I didn't see who that was there. Thank you, um, Lewis. That was Lewis there. Thank you, Lewis, posing as the Penguin there. Thank you very, very, very much, Lewis. <laughs> Bananas in the chat if you want to for Lewis or oh doggo. Thank you, Lewis. Po oh no, we nearly died there. Oh no. Oh, that was close. Thank you, Lou. <laughs> Posing as the penguin there. Oh, I missed the envelope. Ah! Oh, thank you, Lewis. <laughs> Cheers, Lou. <laughs> we just survived that. Oh, change of colour in the background there. Notice the uh, sunset. Very nice. Oh! Tease me of the letter there, and then and then the fish appear. Oh, ass! Are you ready? And then one appeared in the middle last time, didn't it? And then we got a fish. Yes. this there's a freaking boss let's just take a pause there oh this game is awesome i have to admit because we don't get long pat marie to team to like um uh judge the games i know actually got it released early on itch.io and i try not to sp um spoil it because we have like 38 games to like or 36 sorry to like get through and judge and i try and give equal amount of time to every game when i'm reviewing and judging and uh, unfortunately i was also away for like the whole weekend so it doesn't give me a lot of time to judge all the games fairly and equally and give equal time to them on my judging categories the cpc retro dev but i didn't get a chance to get this far onto the boss 
Bloody hell, that was great. <laughs> That's amazing. Brilliant. But that took me by surprise there. Awesome. Uh, I'm sure I would have bought this game. You're playing it very good. I'm, I'm getting... Yeah, I'm, I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. I'm loving this. Hang on one second. Ooh. Sorry about that. Um, wow. Brilliant. Finding it easier to play on keyboard than my arcade stick, actually. Oh, the log got in the way. There's ducks? I have to shoot ducks for bonuses now. Uh, oh, poor ducks. Oh, I missed the duck. Oh, no. The ducks are putting me off now. That was a that was a close one, and I got a perfect as well. When do I get an extra bonus life? Right, I was gonna pause there just for a second, give myself a break there, and catch up with some of the chat there. Wow, Mike ZT, good evening, Mike ZT. How you doing? It does look like the penguin from Ping Pong, which is why it gives me the Konami vibes, and also, um. What's the Konami game on the MSX when he's running along? And is it Arctic? Oh, Antarctic Adventure? But the hell. Are you running into the screen and you're jumping over stuff um, as the penguin? It reminds me of that a little bit from Konami. Uh, Pete Walker says maybe last year's Retro Dev, other than a few games, I don't know, seemed flat, fully back to form from this year in a big way. I know what you mean, Pete. Um, last year's Retro Dev have maybe like. Two or three like like freaking like amazing games, and then it was kind of like student entries, and there was nothing wrong with that. But like um, from outside, there wasn't many outside of the student game. Uh, outside of student, there wasn't outside entries other than student games last year. Um, this year we've had quite a few entrants from non-students. Do you know what I mean? And it's kind of like pushed the sort of the quality level up. It. Um, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Um, right, who else have got to mention there? How you doing, Mr. Mike ZT? How tricks? Uh, ben Rea says, uh, Mr. Henderson says, this is really awesome, really testament to the quality of the competition as well that you got a, you get a game this good and it's not even the winner. Although I definitely see why it was close. It's so close, uh, Ben Rea. If you saw the competition stream earlier. The perfect in this stage is not that easy. I think I'm, I'm abusing the slide quite a lot. Uh, Bat Marita. Yeah. But that was close. It was. I lost two lives at that level though. I love how the duck flies away like a duck hunt. Yes. Yeah. Really nice touch. Really nice touch. Yeah. Um, Matt Barry says. It makes me think of a Tato version of Konami's Pentaru. I've not seen Pentaru, but I'll take your word for it, Malamut. Yeah. Uh, there's two games like that with the Penguin Zai for MSX. Penguin Adventure, Arnie. That's right, Penguin Adventure. Yes, you made perfect sense there, Pete. Yes, yes. Without being like kind of disrespectful for the end to the entries last year. I know I knew exactly what you mean. Um, there wasn't many outside entries in last year's CPT Retro Dev. Um, there was 
to buy the Wii, Wireware, and Shovel Adventure, and then the rest were kind of, I think the rest were all student games. So, that yes. Whereas this year, freaking hell, this year, um, I think at least seven, seven, eight, maybe eight of the games were outside entries. Do you know what I mean? Non-student games. Right, okay. Mrs. Zai says, I have a baby Zai wanting you. Okay, I'll finish this off, Mrs. Zai, uh, 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 and then I'll come up and give you a hand, okay? All right. Oh, all the duck there. Hey, up me duck. <laughs> oh! Oh, I missed the envelope. Do you know what the what the envelope thing's about? They have to like uh, to get extra points. They have to. Every game has to try and do a tribute to a particular game. Last year it was Rainbow Islands. That's why there was like rainbows in all the games last year. This year, because it's the 10th anniversary, they've asked, they've asked them to try and do a tribute to the winning game of the first um, winner of the Re Secrecy Retrograde in the first year. Like Lost Senna Legacy or something like that. And the, that game at some point involved an envelope, I think. Uh, so that's why there's envelopes in this game. Uh oh, porn bots in the chat there. <laughs> um, there you go. Wow, Penguin Attack is awesome. Oh, in that 1975, there's another one like Cabal that's a good reference point. Yes. This is Lipos in the chat there. I might just need to pop upstairs quickly. Um. Hang on a second, let me just check what's the third place game. Has it got, got music? It does, actually. So, there you go. That was Penguin Attack, ladies and gentlemen. I might just need to pop upstairs and give Mrs. Zypho a hand with uh, Mini Zypho, my son. He's like three, four years old and he's woken up and I think he's a bit upset. Um, so, what we'll do, first of all... Congratulations to Penguin Attack. Um, that is an absolutely fantastic game. I'm going to be playing more of Penguin Attack, either on the Amstream, I don't know, next week, or we'll do it on Twitch in the week. Um, I want to play more of it, but like we've we've got to get through more games tonight. It's just like, oh, got 38 games to get or 36 games to get through it is absolutely freaking fantastic i want to play more i really want to play more of it but can we give the pat marita team a round of applause in the chat exclamation mark clap and um let's give them a round of applause again congratulations came to the chat to the pat marita team on second place tonight in the CPC Retro Dev. That is absolutely freaking fantastic. I want to play more, but look at the time. I've got another 30 something odd games to get through. I love it. I love it. Oh. I kind of want to, I want another go. <laughs> I want another go. I want to play more Penguin Attack. Oh, I'm torn. I'm torn. But like, I know I've got to go and help Mrs. Zypho. I think we better get on to another game. Better too many than too little. Yeah. 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 So well done. Well done to the Pat Marita team. I'm going to be playing more of this on Twitch next week. I might, I might do this on Monday on Twitch. So uh, tune in to my Twitch channel probably on Monday where we'll, we're going to have a good playthrough of this. So yeah. Okay, so we're now. What have I done wrong here? We're now going to have a look at the third place game, ladies and gentlemen, which is uh, Dire Dare. 
Diadare from CNG Soft, aka Cesar. I'm gonna get this loaded up, and then um, uh, you can listen to the music on the title screen, and then gonna, I'm just gonna pop up and see if what what's going on with. Hang on, with Mrs. Zypho and the, and my little one. Okay, so Diadare in third place. Oops. Second. Right, Diadare. Diadare. And if you've got any nice messages for um, Pat Marita team in the chat there, they're in the chat. Let them know what you think about um, Penguin Attack. Leave them a nice, give them a nice message. Tell them what you, tell them what you think. And give them some, give, give Pat Marita team some love in the chat there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them some love here as well. Some love in the chat there and give us some nice messages and congratulations and congratulate, congratulate them on their work and uh, I'll be back just give me like uh, a couple of minutes guys and girls sorry just Pat and Rick's team did I just get this like um let the chat give you some love for your hard work and some congratulations you deserve it, Pat Marita. You did some, you, you've done some fantastic work there with painting it out. You deserve all the congratulations. Well done again. Guys, I'll be back in one soon. Okay? I'll just need to deal with um, my, uh, my son who's woken up. <laughs> I'll be right back. Be right back, guys. Enjoy the music here on Dying and I'll be right back.
All right, guys and girls, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with us there. I just had to tuck Minnie's iPhone into bed, bless him. He just wanted his daddy to give him a little kiss goodnight. He woke him up. I had to tuck him into bed, give him a little quick cuddle, and he was off to sleep again, so bless him. So, <laughs> excuse me. Well done to Penguin Attack and Pat Marie's team, but now it's the time for Dire Dare. From Cesar, Nicolas Gonzalez, aka CNG Soft, we see that his games every year in the CPC Retro Dam from Tim the Adventures of Timothy Gunn, which is one of my favourites of all time. I love Timothy Gunn. We saw Wireware last year. Um, we've also seen uh, Fire Tire. Oh, that was good, that racing game. Um, we also saw, is it Basket Cases, the basketball game? Then you'll remember that one. Um, we've also seen, um, what was the other ones that he's done? Oh, he's done so many. There was Frogalox, wasn't there? The um, Nebulous clone he also did, and several others. Yeah, yeah. Welcome in, Uncle Ron. Hello, Uncle Ron. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So, Dire Dare is very similar to one he did many years ago called, I think, Maya Mare. I think it was Maya Mare, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, so, find the keys. So, here, find the keys, open the doors, get the wands, kill the baddies, and, and succeed in this Dire Dare. Oh, hang on a second. What's this? The Joker has donated free now. Hang on, who's this? I never wanted to believe that my dad was stealing from his job as a road worker. But when I got home, all the signs were there. Oh! Bad dad jokes there! Oh! Oh, Secure Bjorn. That was Secure Bjorn. <laughs> oh dear, Secure Bjorn. Thank you very much, Secure Bjorn. <laughs> right, let's go. Thank you, Secure Bjorn. And if I remember correctly, the first I played this, and I think the first key is this way. Look at this. Look how beautiful and colourful this is. Isometric, Moan Nort. Running around, firing away. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way, actually. Like, sometimes the doors will open for you, sometimes they won't. Right, so. I've missed it. I've not got the key then. The key's this way. We're trying to find keys for doors. Your hit points is down the bottom right corner of the screen there. So it's 55 HP. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Lucas, good evening as well. Dad Joke has donated one pound. Once upon a time there was a magical tractor, and one day, it turned into a field. Oh, Lewis! Oh, there you go, I've got a key, a green key. Oh, I've got to pick up some food there. Thank you, Lewis, for the bad dad show there. Bad dad. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Right, we found our first key there, boys and girls. So what we can do is we can fire out a bouncing fireball there around the screen. Lewis. Bad Lewis. Bad Lewis. Um, you can only fire this ball out one, one at a time. Now we picked up the green key, we can open up the green door whenever we want. Oh, some food to pick up there. It restores our energy briefly.
Will the blue door open for us? Uh, HP is very low. From 34 HP. Ah, the snail got us. Ah, oh, bouncing pumpkins. Man Shovel's going to be happy. Rachel, good evening, Rachel. That blue door is not going to open. Let's get out of here. A little bit of health back there. White door open. Bit of pizza there. Will the red door open here? At the bottom. I'm waiting for the arrows. Oh no, our HP is getting very low. 9 HP. So just a pause there a second. That's our hit points there. If you can see that there. We've got a 9 HP left. Very, 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 very low. When the arrow is showing here, like not filled in, the door is closed. When it shows filled in, the door is opened. Okay. Just just to, just to explain there. That's the best you got, Lewis. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Is it a man or a woman? I think it's a lady hair. Can you see that? That does look like a bit of a bosom. Okay. That's a bit of a bosom there. Um, this, this runs on stock 464 hardware, Rachel. Um, the rules of the competition are it has to run in 64K of memory and has to load from cassette. So there you go. Welcome, Rachel. How are you keeping? It's not, the door's not opening. We've got one HP. We need food. Zero HP. Oh, we have died. Explored 17 rooms. Game over. We've got wrecked. Bimster reckons this looks very impressive. And Rachel thinks it's blooming impressive, then. Nice tune. Yes. I think this is an original composition as well. Um, um, like Caesar like, tends to like cover tunes from other games. Like last year on Fire Tire, his composition was like Rob Hubbard tunes from Commodore 64 games. To go with the Amstrad. I think this is like on Fire Tales. No, Fire Tales was two years ago. This time I think it's like an original composition he's done here. So this is quite good actually. Smoothie says definitely have that trademark C and G rod. How many rooms in total do you know? I don't know. I I'm going to have a look at the manual actually for this one. I never. I should really have read the manual. the four coloured keys in this game we found the green key and I know that the red and blue key is really closely located nearby we're going to find three magic wands as well at the same time Oh, the magic wands will give her new abilities. Actually, I'll show you what I'm looking at at the moment. Uh, magic wands will give her new abilities, running quickly, stopping the spontaneous motion of random doors, and blasting more than one ectoplasm with a single spell. Um, okay. We haven't found any magic wands yet. Oh. If you move in either classic directions or diagonals if you want to. Oh, the original game was called Higher Hair. Sorry, yes. That's all the instructions. Have. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. 
Oh no, I set up the, uh, the crap thing. I'm sorry. Ah! Sorry about that. I didn't need to do that. Ignore I did that. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Ignore I did that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, power screen reminds you of Storm Lord. Yes. A little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this looks more fun than that attic attack. Oh yeah, I was never much of a fan of attic attack. Um, I've no idea how big the game is. It doesn't say in the manual. Um, there you go. You've got to get four keys, three magic wands, and then I think you fight the final wizard or something like that. Yeah. In Noddy Holdress. <laughs> Uh, Uncle Ron says, 81 years until the kid leaves home, will you still be doing this then? Oops. I don't say so, Uncle Ron, I love doing this. I love hanging out with you like, you and everyone else. Yeah. Thanks for dad jokes earlier as well. Thank you for doing that. Right, we'll give this another try. I think it's worth it. Right, one more go. Actually, we do want to... Leave the food, because we're a health okay. Wait for the door to open. Bloody bouncing pumpkins. Bad enough of them. From Cauldron recently. Oh, this door is not opening. I've gone the wrong way. Right, will this red door open? Now, that thing is gonna. We need to go to this white door. Oh, I think I've been this way before, and this blue door don't open, does it? Ah! Hang on a second, my chat window's just froze. Right, uh, sorted it. Right, cool. Okay, what are people's thoughts of this game then? Uh, is this sort of thing? I think, I'm, uh, I think this is the kind of thing that would have like sold at full price back in the day. I mean, the graphics are gorgeous. The controls are nice, tight and responsive. The music's really cool. Red key! We found two keys! Let's go! And we can get through that red door now, I think. That was blocked before back over here. Anything is, I'm on 30 HP. Twenty six HP. It's, it's bloody tough though. There's so many enemies spawning all the time. 17 HP. Bit of cheese. Got a bit of cheese. 
and they re constantly respawn. Is it is it just too overly tough? Nineteen HP. What happened there? We just suddenly spawned into a different room. Eight HP. We need health badly. Seven HP. Eleven HP. We only got a tiny bit of health restore there. I think this game's too hard. 18 HP from that health pickle. 33 HP. You don't get it. Oh! I'm taking a save point there. Bloody hell, that's not bad. Okay, uh, what's this called? Dire Dare. We have got. Let's take a break there a second. We managed to get three keys. I don't know how we managed to do that. We've managed to get three of the four keys there. This requires ye oldie mapping. You're right. Um, I think. Um, you're right. I think uh, Segure Bjorn. It looks like the keys spawn in the same places every time. Nice sprites, aren't they? Nice sprites. I like the look of this snail. <laughs> With his eyes at the top there. Um, I will say the. The sprites have been reused in previous games from CMG stuff, but like, yeah, yeah. Amazing music on this one. I agree, Mirko. I agree. It really suits the game, actually. Um, does the food regenerate? I don't think it does, Uncle Ron. Um, and now my HP. We've been scrabbling around for like energy, and my HP is really freaking low. Oh. Caesar's game last year was way too easy and we completed it on the first game. Now this is like too hard, I think. Hang on. <laughs> La, La Policia de CPC. Hang on. Save state police have arrived. I've only taken one save state. You're under arrest for egregious use of save states. <laughs> man that's man shovel thank you man shovel <laughs> thank you man shovel excavation bot pumpkins in the chat for man shovel i've only taken one because i might want to return to this and have a look rewatch where i've gone for mapping purposes Maybe on another stream at some point. Or like, or I might do a long play. And see how I got to this point. We managed to get three out of the four keys. And then we just got to find the ones. The only thing is, I think this might be a little bit too tough. Because we just scrabbled around for some food. We picked up a load of food items. And we're still only on 25 HP out of 100 HP. I'm wondering, is this... Is the balance of difficulty too hard on this one? But, hmm, we'll see. I guess they base this on the unreleased uh, Ultimate Game Maya Mare, hence why it plays so much like Attic Attack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It is very Attic Attack y, isn't it? But I've never seen the unfinished Maya Mare. Yeah. 11 plus 11 equals 22. Nice date today. Oh, yeah. Well spotted, Rachel. Oh, no. Hang on. The pumpkin. <laughs> Request Cauldron 3 for next year's retro div. Oh god, not Cauldron 3. No. Oh god, no. Thank you, Velo. That's Dave Velociraptor. Thank you, Velo. <laughs> And it's 11, 11 p.m. now as well, Rachel. Bloody hell. Well spotted as that as well. Thank you, Velo. Thank you, Velo. No, we're not having cold and bloody free. It's bad enough we've got bouncing pumpkins in this game. All right. So here now, I'm just racing around, just, just going anywhere I can. Oh, I can't go in that door. 
And also, HP just goes down anyway on its own. What the hell? What is that thing? Did you see? I got, there was a there was a, an actual creature there that killed me. I ne I didn't. I've never seen that before in the game. Exactly. What was that? We will reload and find out. Where did we go? We went down this way. I can remember where we went. I think we went... We got that. Yes! Was that a werewolf? What, what, what was even that? Uh, I'm reading the manual here. God. El Hombre de Pala has donated one pound. What the hell is El Hombre de Pala? I don't even know what that is. Two hundred dollars award to whomever makes the best Cauldron 3 game for CPC Retro 2023. Thank you, um, El Hombre de Pala, which is Manchu <laughs> again. Thank you, Manchu. Best Cauldron free game for CPC Retro Twenty. Right, well, there's a bounty up then from Man Shovel for two hundred dollars. Are you sure about that? We now know who that is. Excavation mark pumpkins in the chat for Man Shovel. I'm reading the manual here. Magic wands and the only devices that can count the powers of Glanosuchus and Alapisodon. I think it mentions like two beasts in the manual. I think we've encountered, there's like, it mentions two creatures in the manual. I think we've encountered one of the creatures. So, aye, aye. Okay. Wow! So that's a nice thing there. So I think you've, if you've got one of the magic wands, you can actually defeat them. That, that beastie. Whatever the part it was. I'll sh we'll have a look at it again one more time. Uh, I, think, I think we went down this way. Green door. White. I think we went through the green door. Yeah, look at it. I think there it there it is. I think it's a werewolf. It looks like it. It looks like he's got a dog collar. It looks like he's got a spiky dog collar, doesn't it? It's got like like the uh, dog dog ears and spike spiky wristbands. I think I think it is a werewolf. But yeah, that's cool. I think you need a magic wand. One of the magic wands he mentions in the manual to fight it. Looks like some kind of knight. I don't think so. That's a block of cheese behind it. That was help. That's a health restore. That's the hat. The, 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 that, that's what's left the four. The four character. Um, what's what's our name? The sorceress Hecatia. Hecatia. Oh, poor Hec Hecatia. All that's left of her is the hat. Yeah. Where's Wolf? Here's Wolf. But yeah, yeah. Smell <laughs> my cheese. But yeah. All oh, right. Well, there you go. That was Dire Dare. And that was our third place game in the CPC Retro Dev. I do think, I don't think that is, that does deserve a round of applause for, uh, for, Dire, for Dire Dare there. Exclamation mark clap in the chat for Dire Dare and Cesar from CNG Soft. I think we're going to have to play more of that on Twitch in the week, I think, actually. But yeah. Um, actually, why is my clap not working? I don't know why that's not working, but, um, yeah, that, that's it. Oh, there it goes. Well done, Diadem. Well done, CMG stuff. That one is really, really, really good. It got the clap. <laughs> yeah, well done, Diadem. 
I think a very deserved third place. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I think so. Really, really good stuff. That well done. Um, and uh, expertly put together game. Um, easily would have been a full price game back in the day. That so well done, Diadare. Well done, well done, and well done, Cesar from CNG Soft. I don't know what else they could have he could have done with this game to get it to first place. I mean, it is what it is. It's kind of like an isometric kind of game, and um, unless you go for a de get Dexter head over heels type thing where you're jumping and picking up objects and combining them. Sorry, I didn't try to play a joke toad over again. Which is a different type of game, then that might have pushed it higher up if you went for an uh, adventure puzzle solving thing. Hedro Pumpkin! Caldero Train 2023. Has Casius said a CPC retro dev? <laughs> what? Caldero Train 2023. Has Quay Tuxedo CPC retro dev? Uh, are you, is someone allowed to translate that for me? I think that's got to be a man shovel don't know. Thank you, thank you, man shovel. You will have to translate that in the chat for me because I have no idea. It, it, obviously, some reference to Cauldron in, in 2023 in the CPC Retro Dev, I believe. Thank you, man shovel, for the one pounds there. All right, we shall move on from that into and um, into our next game. Right, we need to start moving things a little bit quicker now. So next up is Druid and Droid. Right, now at 11 o'clock and we've got a lot of games to do. Right, Druid and Droid from Leosoft. Oh, hang on. Their fourth place game, Druid and Droid from Leosoft. I'm looking forward to this one because Leosoft did one of my favourite games the other year. Gem Jam. That was bloody good. Is there time limit to code these games? 12 months. No, you can start coding it whenever. Oh, look at that logo. Very nice, Leo Soft. You can start coding it right now, Lucas, or 10 years ago, I guess, as long as it's not been released in any format prior to the start of the competition, I guess. Oh, Manchil says Cauldron Free in 2023. Make it happen, CPC Retro Dev. Was that just translate that was in but that was in Spanish, was it, Manchival? Beforehand. Ooh, tunes. Thank you, man, Shivel. I should raise a toast. But not to cold and free. Bello says, um, uh, Diadem was your favourite out of three so far. Well, there you go. Yeah, Lucas, get making the game now. <laughs> Got a whole year to learn how to code on the Amstrad. Golly boys, let's get coding, man. <laughs> Wait, one second, guys. Sorry about that, I've got to mute the microphone again. Anyway, uh, the prologue. Let's watch the prologue quickly. We got a little intro here. Stonehenge? No, we're not bloody doing Stonehenge again. Clear summer night in the year 2042 BC. An ancient druid approaches the stones. And it's a Ritual dances to keep the gods happy. <laughs> but then something unexpected happened.
R2-D2 appears. Or a uh, rather pink R2-D2. Greetings, O-Druid. Greetings, O-Druid. What are you? Oh, God. Oh, I'm an android, a robot. A robot? A uh, robot. I'm a machine, a mere contraption. So you're a lifeless, no soul, no heart. Press the key. Okay. <laughs> Nice intro. I, I'm not going to do robot voice. Not at all. Just machinery. I was sent here by the demons from the future. How exciting. Tell me about the future. Well, as a matter of fact, it was terrible. Climate crisis, pandemics, wars. I saw all of this in a vision once, so it wasn't a dream then. But why did you travel here? Only by joining your old wisdom and my technology can we save the planet. Okay. Me, I am old and weak, but I need your help. I would have to brew a special potion to gain, regain my strength. Oh dear, spelling mistake there. <laughs> I, too, could need some hardware repair. Uh, the dia-based stones here would be useful. Dia-based, the dia-based. These stones are deadly for me. I can't touch them. Uh, what do you need for your potion? First of all, I need sacred mushrooms. Mushrooms will ruin my circuits, so let's try to collect what we need. Carefully avoiding the other items. A tree for one is a threat for the other. So I guess this is the whole game. And what does our player do? Game control. Move the joystick or QAOP key. And to move me, additionally hold a fire or space. Okay. I bought the game of escape. I don't know if it's level bus goes, let's do it. Okay. Mission one, Stone Engine England. Three items each. Item for the druid is the mushrooms, and item for the droid is the deer base. Dia base. Okay. Very, very well. Hello, terrible coffin. Sorry, I've got to say hello earlier, mate. How are you doing, terrible coffin? You're digging the music man shovel. <laughs> the mash gets smashed. Oh, no, but yeah, the music is clever. A mixture of robotic noises and mystery. Yes! Good, well pointed out, Nova Bull. Yes, exactly. The druid looks like Neil from RMC. <laughs> I don't know if he's still watching or not. <laughs> Getting a bit of feud vibes. Right. You can play the last post on some of your nose like a great feud. Sorry for the Anne's honk earlier. Okay. I've got to be the microphone again. Is Jolly here? Hello, Jolly! How many games in? I think this is like the fourth game. I need to start moving faster now. Uh, Brundage! Hello, Brundy! Game presentation is stunning. It really is. Yeah. Uh, the joystick's not working for some reason. Oh, I'd have to just work at this. Alright. So you use QAOP uh, and you hold down, have to hold down the fire button to move the, the droid the same command. Okay, I can work this. So QAOP moves the druid. So if you hold down the fire button and use QAOP, it moves the droid. The druid has to catch the mushrooms. And the, the, the robot, the droid, has to catch the rocks. Okay? Quite simple, yeah, to start with. And they've got to catch five of the items each to move on. Okay. Oh, Henri! No worries, Henri. Um, uh, bon Nui. Good night, Henri. Take care, Henry. Have a great weekend and see you soon. Something with a new system, uh, something with a super by a new system for me was primitive for its day. Yes, true. Oh, now I've got ladders. Okay. Oh, and they're flying across. Okay. Ah. Right, he needs... Oh. Ah! Ah! 
Oh god, you've got a thinking like, oh, about two, two, two characters at a time there. Right, okay. This is gonna be like, um... Oh, sorry, the music's a little bit loud. Let me just turn it down. Let's keep the um yeah keep the politics out the chat please guys. Don't make me have to like uh, stop re scrolling back up chat and having to intervene. We have to take our mind off like real world events and stuff like that. Sorry, uh, I had the alerts muted just while we were doing looking at the intro on this game. Sorry, I'll uh, unmute. Hang on. One second, one second. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah! Uh, I should replay that. Hang on. Ah! Hang on. Yeah, and people, uh, and Rachel, people come here to get away from politics and stuff, so we're not here to talk about that here tonight. As I cut. You're all under arrest for nattering on about politics. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Mad Shovel. <laughs> Thank you, Mad Shovel, for the one pound there as the politics free zone there. Thank you, Mad Shovel. Thank you, Mad Shovel. Oh, we got the level done there. Yeah. No worries. No worries. Just forget about it. And then, uh, yeah. Just, just forget about it. Both, yeah. Don't worry about it. Uncle Ron is all good. It's all good. It's all good, Rachel, as well. Just, just forget about it. And let's just move on. Yeah. There you go. Level cleared. There we go. Right, let's see what the next level throws in. So, okay, so we get, we now get rocks in the way. Extra ladders. Uh, I'm gonna miss that mushroom there. If you, decide, if you decide to leave stuff by the looks of it. Oh, hang on. You can go there, you can go there. Oh god, this game is going to make my brain hurt in a bit. We've got... Go, 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 go. Ah! Uh, oh, we did it! We did it there! Ah! Oh, uh, these puzzle games... Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna, oh god, it makes my brain hurt. What are we meant to do with a droid then, boys and girls? I think we can see where this game is going. The level's going to get more and more complex. You're going to get, like, tons of these items thrown at you from all angles. It's a clever puzzle game. And done in mode one, as you can see there. Interesting choice in the colour palette of shape, like, pastel shades of, like, green, light grey, uh, like a pastel pink, and a dark blue. It works just about, doesn't it? And you've got a mode north and mode one split. You've got mode north at the top for the Druid and Droid logo. You've got a split, mode split, and then mode one for the main window. It's nicely done, actually. I like this. And the music works really, really well. Um, 
Yeah, I think this is really clever. No wonder it's got um, it's got fourth place, didn't it, boy, uh, boys and girls? Yeah. I like this. I like this. I'll play one more level and then we'll have to move on, probably. It's Leo Soft. I don't know if Leo Soft is still in the stream or not, but it's really, really good stuff. Um. Mode one has four colours. Yes, yes, Rachel, yes. Yeah, four colours maximum screen, but they've done a clever split. So at the top you've got mode 0 to 16 colours, then a split, and then mode one, the rest of the screen there. Top four are all good. Yeah, yeah. And also check out Gem Jam by the same coder. Uh, another great puzzle game. Oh my god, what are these things? Ah! I just got wrecked uh, by it. Oh. No! Oh, bugger. Okay, we're done, we're good, we're good. On the middle, on the middle here. You can go through the drew, uh, the rope. Oh god! Oh, that was a close one. You got these little gremlins now. Uh, I like that. I don't know what the frick they're meant to be, but that's cool. Okay, I'll, s I'll see what the next level has in store. Oh god, you got more of them. And a one-up life. Nice. We're okay. Oh, nice. I really like this one. Wicked. Alright, exclamation mark claps in the chat if you haven't already. Great stuff. Yeah, I think we'll leave it there because this game is going to make my brain hurt. And I've got a lot of games to get through there. Oh, good night, Nova Bug. Take care, mate. Nice one on the judging as well, mate. And uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see you tomorrow night on the bug stream where he's doing more of the CPC retro dev games. And uh, take care, mate. 10 o'clock, I think, isn't it? Don't, please, Zello. Don't. <laughs> Good night, Chris. Take care, mate. Take care. That was Druid and Droid. Great, great game. And very well deserving our fourth place in the CPC retro dev. Well done, Leo Soft. Love it, mate. Love it. I should be playing more of that myself. Well done, Leo Soft. Congratulations on fourth place. Right. Okay. We shall sign out now. What is in our fifth place game? Oh, it's the game inspired by Running Man. Yeah. Excellent stuff. Right. If you like the Running Man, you're going to like Deep, Deeper, and Deepest. <laughs> it's nothing to do with a porn movie or anything like that. Right. Thank God GP's gone to bed. Right. <laughs> okay. Deep, deeper, and deepest. Oh, Leo Soft, you're in the chat. Oh, so thanks for playing side for two more levels. You'd get to the next mission and never collect. Oh, really? Oh, I wish I'd played a little bit longer now. Sorry, Leo Soft. I've got like 30 more games to get through. Oh, look at this. Year 2030, rich and poor are more distant than ever. A cruel TV show is the last hope for many. Deep, deeper, deepest. But the prize is your life. Dare to enter this deadly maze and fight against other contestants to get all the money you can. Take the colour keys and go deeper to exit alive. Is it ben Richards from the running man here. Energy level, a timer, a map, the access keys. Okay. Oh. I was going a bit wobbly. I might need a break in a minute. 
Right. You'll need these to buy these keys. Survive in the rooms until the timer gets to red, fully red. Pick up those to speed up the timer. Pick up the coins to get more points. Pick up the health to help up and every 2,000 points. Cool. Sec chat. Alright chat, sorry about that. I might need a little break just to give my eyes a rest in uh, after this game actually. I'm gonna turn the brightness down on my monitor. I don't wanna have an ocular migraine tonight. Lord Raspergu! Hello Lord Raspergu, how you doing? Welcome. <laughs> the butcher of Bakerfield, Anna. Right. <laughs> Enter the deep rooms. So what you're going to do is keep collecting the items on the podiums and avoiding the objects in the room. So it's like Smash TV, except you can't shoot anything. So it's kind of like an avoid them all. So these like uh, items are there. These ones... Increase the timer. So that's the timer. The timer needs to get to fully red for the doors to open on the room. Ah! Those are coins. Coins give you points. But the more points you get, the more likelihood you'll get a bandage spawn to replace your energy levels. Um, which way do we go? Let's go left. Really lovely graphics. Oh! So it's a cross between, uh, ba like, inspired by The Running Man, but it's like Smash TV cross between... I don't, I don't know. you never played Smash TV. Oh, God! Laser beams. You think of a game where you have to sort of survive in a room for X amount of time or something. Oh yeah, there's a m map sort of top... Oh god, I'm looking at the chat. There's a map top right corner. You can't see it very well, but you'll get you'll see more of it as we go along. Oh yeah. The items will time out on, the, on these like four podiums. Oh, 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 oh. Help restore. Cool. Point pick up there. Now these ones, I'll just pause here a second. 
these the items here just get my mouse cursor these ones that look like sort of cups or chalices or whatever these are the ones you really want to pick up because these forward on the timer the most okay the points ones don't forward on the timer uh these ones do and you want to get the timer cleared off as quick as you can all right so these ones you want to pick up really as quick as you can yep you see that uh back for your beer on retro limb good stuff and that icon there on the podium i'm going for i think pauses the enemies on the screen yes I like the creepy music. As you can see, they start flashing and they will time out. Points. On. So this game is made by the same guy who did Survive the Week last year. That was like kind of my secret favorite game last year i love survive the week out survive the week was that one where yeah i had to like play plays that guy who has to go about his daily business you know he picks up his car keys drives his car to work has to avoid his angry boss answers the phone at work um hang on oh Lord Raspergu! Hello Lord Zypho. I know you are not controversial, but it seems other jurors Juanj and Chema already knew what you were going to vote. Thank you Lord Raspergu! Thank you! Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lord Raspergu, for the five pounds. That's very, very, very generous of you, Lord Raspergu. Bananas in the chat. You can, you can have a quick banana shower as well. Thank you, Lord Raspergu. Thank you. Uh, I know you're not controversial, but it seems other jurors, Joanne J and Shima, already knew what you were going to vote. What, what, what do you mean by that, um, Raspergu? Uh, I don't, I don't understand. Uh, uh, was, was something said? Um, and where was it said? I, 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 I don't understand. Can you, can you explain, um, Raspergu? Was, was something said somewhere? Um, please, please explain, Raspergu. As uh, so Matt Myers says, sorry, not sorry, this game is leagues above Survive the Week. I mean, maybe technically, graphically, probably, yeah, it's a is is the improvement, Matt. I think graphically, but I think there was something very special about Survive the Week. It was very, very unique and different, and that's why I loved it, Matt Myers. Yeah. Oh, Nish from CPC Game Reviews. Good night, Nish. Take care, Nish. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you see you soon. And Matt says uh, Metal Gear. It says a little bit like uh, Metal Gear, where you have to hide and stuff. Yeah. Mirko says it's a really clever design. This one. Yeah. Francisco says, nice bright. Uh, Matt Myers as well says, the music re-ramps up the stakes on this one. And Francisco says, great atmosphere. Um, uh, Anna says, I've had two ocular migraines today. Two, Anna? Oh, Anna, I'm so sorry to hear that. That really sucks. Should be getting two. Anna, get yourselves to the doctors and get... get if you're on meds, they are not working, and that's not right. That is not right, Anna. We need to talk more in DMs and about your migraines, and we'll see if we can sort it. Uh, Rachel says, oh, it's fine. I'm grateful for what I've seen so far. Oh, good stuff, Anna. Good stuff. Uh, sorry, Rachel. Good stuff, Rachel. It, we've got some, lots of more games coming up. Um... I still think it's peculiar how words counting backwards top to bottom. Because we didn't like when we did like the worst, not say the low, worst or lowest, the lowest scoring to the top scoring. We didn't get to the best game until like three in the morning, three four in the morning. 
<laughs> and people were upset about that, and I uh, and people bitched and moaned. <laughs> um, hello, eight bit retro refix. Welcome, my friends. How are you doing? Good to see you again, and good to be on the stream with you. Yes. Uh, um. Uh, never mind, my lord. Do you know these Spanish uh, streamers? Uh, no, I'm Re Respergu. Please tell me. Um, I I don't understand what was what was said and where. Um, Respergu. Um, please please tell me, or um, or if you can message me somewhere and tell me what was said. Um. <laughs> um yes i've been i'll be interested to know risberg you um yeah tell me um if you can please mate yeah okay all right i'm gonna pause my music there What's this thing do here? Oh, it makes you invinci invincible for a little bit. Cool. Nice. There you go. Cleared it up. Never mind. It was a joke. Okay. It didn't sound like a joke. Okay. Oh, okay. The, I, I thought so. The lava floor is deadly. It doesn't uh, outright kill you, but it will take your energy away. Basically. Oh, you idiot, Al. Come on, Zai. Concentrate. Oh, I touched it again by accident. Idiot. Health restore. Oh, the health restore disappeared as the timer ran out. Damn it. That's cool. There you go. Nice so far. Oh, Rachel. Good night, Rachel. Take care. Take care, Rachel. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Um. Um. Sorry, yeah, Francisco. We had to pause there. Sorry. Uh, um. Evening again, 8-bit. Eight eight bit. Yeah, all good, mate. All good. Um, yeah, you can go through the lava when you pick up the shield. Right, yes, yes. Game is quite good and addictive, yeah. Yeah, my pleasure, Rachel. Hopefully we'll see you soon. Uh, they've been brilliant so far. Absolutely, yeah. Oh! Ah! There's a guy chasing me! Oh, it's like—is this another contestant? There's another contestant in the game. Ow! Leave me alone! I'm going this way. Go away! Looks like he's got a. Looks like he's got a beard. Is it he's got a little green jumpsuit on? Ah! Ow! Go away! As well. Oh! The, ge the game's getting interesting. Nice. We'll get a shield here. Cool. Okay. I like this. The human eye must not escape. <laughs> yeah, so what are we thinking to this one then? Viper, mate, you're one of the most important streamers when it comes to the Amstrad says smoothie. 
showcasing new games and stuff like that. Can I stress how bad and loved you are? You might not see this. I did see it, Smoothie. Thank you for the lovely message, Smoothie. I appreciate that, buddy. You didn't have to say that. Um, I just do my thing. I just do my thing. I do it because I love the Amstrad and I love new Amstrad games and I try and showcase them as much as I can. Um, hang on, did I come from below or from the side? Oh, if you come back to the previous room, it's been cleared. That's interesting. I'll just pause there for a second. So if you come back to the previous room, it's it's cleared. If you look here, look very carefully, there's like a little map of where you've been. Ah, yeah. Malky's is a big soft. He is a big softy, really. Big softy milk there. Smoothie. Thank you, Smooth MJ. Um but yeah, you've got a map of where you visited. So if we go back, the room's cleared and the doors are opened. There you go. Cool. Graphics remind you of Solomon's Key. Gameplay are very different, of course. Yeah. Really nice graphics. Very smooth moving around. Nice responsive controls. He moves in about sort of two pixels at a time. I think. So, yeah. Quite precise movement, it's pretty good. And really atmospheric music. Oh, we visited this place before, so we now have to sort of go a different route. The AI, the AI is aggressive, yeah. Thank you, Smoothie. I don't know if Respergi was joking or if like, I don't know, a couple of Spanish Amstrad streamers were being a bit bitchy about me or not. Spurgu, send me a DM and tell me what happened. So, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if there were drama llamas or not. But, uh, who knows? Who cares? I do my thing. They do their thing, I guess. I don't know. Never said anything. I've never said anything bad about them or anyone. So just, I don't know. I think I've ever mentioned them before. Right. Okay. Anyway, doesn't matter. We, we focus. We focus on the games, and we focus on the community, and we focus on the CT retro dev. So that's all that matters. Uh, okay. Indeed. Indeed, Velo. Yeah. Don't bad Jack will DM you. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it was just a joke. I'm sure that, I'm sure they haven't said anything bad, so. Probably just a bad joke. No, no dramas. No dramas. It's all good. As far as I know, we're all like one big happy community and we're all doing fantastic stuff, so. Okay, cool. Oh, oh, the time out there. Um, I, hmm, I kind of want to see if there's anything going to be more, any, anything new happen on this game. We don't want to be playing this for, for too much longer. The time is really ticking on. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's right. He's right in the freaking way of all of those podiums there. Oh, you utter git! Come on, come down here, out the way. He's in the way. Damn it, damn it. Indeed, Vimster, indeed. Uh, oh, he's out the way now. Can I get to this before it goes? Because this will put the clock forward. Yes, excellent there. Yeah, indeed. Forget about it, Matt Myers. Uh, I might have to move on shortly. So, um, but yeah, I think this is definitely a game to really kind of chill out with, like uh, on a on a lazy Sunday afternoon. I think. 
it, it's not like hugely fast paced this, but it's yeah, I don't think it's worth going for those items in the middle there of that that guy there. In the... He's back. He's back. The guy in the green jumpsuit is back. No, you're not against. A... You're not really against the clock here. I could just chill here and wait for the items to spawn on the outer two podiums. Or have them frozen. Pick up that item and have these guys frozen. Oh, he unfroze. Ah, he unfroze. Oh, I could have gone for that. Ah. Oh, red key. We have the red key. Interesting. Oh. Unlike a school night's iPhone, it doesn't turn into a public at midnight, which is good because there's still 32 games there. Oh my god! How many games left have I got to do? Bloody hell. Right, where do I go next? Here. Oh, there's a guy. There's a new guy. Oh, he's stealing my items. Look at this. It's another contestant in the like the running man. Oh, uh, I've got the protection thing on. Get away from my stuff. He's got, or he or she, got long blonde hair. Ow. Uh, where do we go? Right here? Yeah, that's not worth going for. Let's get him out into the middle. Follow me, follow me, follow me. We need to get them away from the uh, podium things. Top up gaming, man. <laughs> David Watkins, good night, David. Take care, my friend. Thank you for being here tonight. I hope you enjoyed the AM stream, the CPC Retro Dev AM stream. And uh, have a great weekend, my friend. You get the gist, move on, it's 12 a.m. I know. I'm actually quite enjoying it, though. <laughs> That's the problem. All right. I'll see if I can find the room where we use the red key and then we'll move on. Take safe state and finish it later. But I'm not going to come back to it tonight. That's it for this one. All right, okay. He actually can't help himself. I know, I'm, t I'm terrible, Velo. Yeah, imagine being my mum. All right, I probably should, yeah. All right, yeah, let's leave it there. All right, okay. Exclamation mark claps in the chat. Exclamation mark claps in the chat there for deep, deeper, deepest. I think that's bloody good. And a worthy, a worthy fifth place finish there. Um, We'll give the next two games a decent playthrough as well. Not quite as long, but... um. And then from then onwards, we'll only spend like a few minutes on each game and we'll try and get through as many as we can in the next two hours tonight or something like that. But yes, deep, deeper, deepest. This is a game to chill out to. I think this is a really fun game. Really love this one. Um, it's, it is a bit slow paced, but I love the kind of the running man, uh, like inspired by the running man. It's got that Smash TV vibe to it as well. Uh, but yeah, like Velo says, any of the first five games could have won and it would have been completely fine. Yeah. 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 I think any of the three could have won and it had been fine. And, and, and this, uh, and then uh, Druid and Droid, Deep Deeper Deepest could have come second and that would have been great. Yeah. Looks like Die Alien Slime. A little bit. A little bit. Yeah, Retro Name. Yeah. I think 
I think like maybe if you could have like maybe shot some things and blew things up at the same time. I don't know. Could it would just just a, just would have increased excitement level a little bit. I know that the the whole premise of the game is to like basically it's an avoid them up and survive. I know I get that it would kind of ruin the whole idea of the game, but it it just needed some extra excitement somehow, just to just to just to bring it up a bit, and it would have made it would have made it just a little bit more. Um, mm, it needed it just needs a bit more extra oomph somehow, and and I, and I would have thought you know you it might have been contending in the top three then, yeah. Hey, nerdy geezer, how you doing, my friend? How you doing, mate? Yeah, <laughs> how's it going, sir? Great stream the other night, mate, and thank you again. Welcome, mate. Yeah, so there we go. That was deep, deeper, deepest. Oh, oh, guys, next game. Next game. I'm so happy to bring this game to you because... This next game is made by one of our own, a member of the Am Squad. Goatfish 2 in sixth place is made by one of our own members of our community. He's a patron and a member of the Am Squad, Poppy Chicken. I don't know if he's going to be here in the chat. He's not often in the chat, but he's a member of the Am Squad. And I'm so happy that he got um he made, he's made a game for the CPC Retro Dev. And it got the sixth place. It's a welcome return for Goatfish and Goatfish 2. Goat harder. <laughs> I uh, this is great actually. Right from Poppy Chicken. It's time for it's time for Goatfish 2. Are you ready? The ocean is filled with delicious treats. Hurry and eat them all. Here we go. Swim and bound. Sorry, bounce, bounce and dive. Go, goatfish, go. Goat harder. <laughs> it's goatfish too. Not what you're calling it, retro and limb. Goatfish 2. Underwater, no one can hear you bleed. <laughs> Let the tune play out. OMG, it's OSG. How you doing, old style gaming? Welcome, mate. So this is by Poppy Chicken, also known as uh, his real name, Irving Pajor. Let's see. Um, eat to survive, joystick arrows to swim, fire to space dive. All right, okay. I thought the music was going to carry on there. Credits quickly. Goatfish devised by Antonia. Music by Antonia. Urchins by Zoe. And there you go. Irving Pajor, 2022. Oh, this is Jeff Minter vibes. You'll see. You'll see. One second, guys. Sorry. joining in unfortunately you missed the top five games this year but um, um this is still you've still got some decent games coming up <laughs> go fish one was awesome it was like from a side on perspective and it was like zooming in and out of the amstrad screen it was really cool graphical tricks 
Um, as this goat fish, as he called it, was swimming around. It's almost like a mode seven on the snares as it's like sort of rotated around the screen. He swam around like eating stuff, and he had to keep eating for as long as he could. It was a really cool game. Sorry. Hang on. Let me just mute my mic. I need to blow my nose again. I remember to mute the mic this time. Anyway, the silent am song there. Right, let's go! Alright, there's no music in the game this at this time. Okay. Go, goatfish, go! Dive, dive, dive! Okay. Alright, let's put some music on in the background. Are you gonna dive and like collect the fruit as you dive as the goatfish? Go, goatfish, dive! Actually, those apples don't score you many points. So some of the fruit, don't bother diving for. Ah, miss them. Angry faces don't get you many points. So avoid that. Cupcakes get you lots of put. Get, gets you lots of health. So you've got to try and keep your energy up at all times. See the energy bar at the bottom there. Okay. Get the banana gets you two plus two. So there's not much energy. So you've got to try and keep your goatfish going for as long as you can. Chicken gets you plus six. Banana plus two, but I got two of them. That was good. Angry face. Not Ouch! Not good. Uh, what does the milkshake get? Plus five. That was worth getting. Oh, no. Now the blocks start moving and getting in your way. Cupcake got us plus four. Go, Goatfish, go! No! Ouch! Some nice graphical tricks being pulled off here. Ah! Oh, landed on the angry block there. Go on, Goatfish! Missed the bananas. I should have got the bananas there. Ow! Ouch, my energy's down to 30. Chicken, plus 6. Excellent. Energy's down to 30. Oh, the pizza. What's the pizza get us? Pizza's plus 8. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, no. Come on, go, fish. Lots of energy there. Energy's back to 40. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is made by one of our own, one of the Am Squad. Ouch! Get the bananas there. Chicken, chicken leg gets us lots of points. We just keep that energy up as much as we can. Eggs there. Eat the dizzies. The apples get us barely any energy. Oh, we're going to get run out there quick. Hamburger gets us seven energy. Gets us a, bit, a little bit back there, but I think we're about to die. Uh, energy's down really low. Hamburger gets us plus seven. Ouch. I and Goatfish got wrecked. Goatfish has run out of energy. And we got a score of 216. And I think basically, guys and girls, Goatfish will loop endlessly. And it's a score attack game. It's basically to see how far you can get and how far you can keep your energy going. And how high you can go. Who can get the highest score? Goatfish got got. <laughs> what a cool little game there with some clever graphical tricks there. 
And Matt, Matt says, wow, this turned it up a notch, the sequel. <laughs> there you go. Cyber, this is very much like uh, the light corridor. Yes, Retro on Rim. Well, Velo says, yeah, I like how Cyber says to rush through the welcome section so we get through the games and spend 45 minutes on each. <laughs> We've, well, we got to, we got to give them, we got, yeah, well, the game's got more love tonight so far, and I think it's worth it. Reminds you of the Pilot Wings. Yes, hey, hon. A bit like Tempest 2000, reckons Velo. You remember the original Goatfish, do you, Anna? Yes, there you go. Malamut reckons it's a bit like the Light Corridor, yes. But you're going down, like a tunnel, falling downwards, yeah, yeah. The milk brings all the boys to the yard. Damn right it's better than yours. <laughs> Milkshake gets all the boys to the yard. Yes. Uh, looks great, there's a lot going on, says Robin Hogg. Uh, Velo says, this is a great outro game, plays the strange. Uh, Retro says, yeah, very impressive. How that pizza has been ruined with pineapple. There's nothing wrong with pineapple on pizza. Stop it now. Stop it. <laughs> um. Ander DB. DB. Hello, Ander DB. I saw... Uh, oh. You came in the Amstream last week. Um, I was watching a, a clip of it back. And I realised I didn't get a chance to say hello to you. And I thought, that was so rude of me. I missed you coming in the, the stream last week. I'm so sorry I didn't get a chance to say hello to you last week. Hello, Ander DB. Have you tried the wormhole? Not yet. Where did you, where did the wormhole? Um, what 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 position did you did you there uh, the wormhole get? Let's see. Wormhole number sixteen. No, we're at number six. We're taking far too long. The, so um, you're at sixteen. We're at number six. We're working sort of descending order. So we'll get to the wormhole soon. We'll get to the wormhole eventually. <laughs> Is the wormhole your game, and the DB? Uh, hey, um, 8-bit retro refix, gotta go. No worries, 8-bit uh, retro refix. Take care, my friend. Uh, good night. Have a great weekend. Um, no pineapple or anything ever, including pineapple. Free <laughs> on all, all right, a gambit. Right. What do we think to get a goatfish to? Quickly, just fire up again very, very quickly. I think this is a really fantastic, fantastic effort. Good old goatfish. Well done, Irving Pajor. And, um, aka Poppy Chicken. He's a member of the AM squad, and I am super proud of him for this one. I think this is really, really good fun. Exclamation mark clap in the, uh, clap in the chat, I think. I think this deserves a big round of applause. I love how smooth the graphical effects work here. Oh no, poor goatfish. Egg gets three points. Don't worry about the apples. But you do want those cupcakes. Uh, I love this. I think it's going to be a good score attack game. Imagine if we get this on Ant Stream for a tournament challenge. That would be great. Might have a word of him about that, actually. Um, let's be perfect for Ant Stream. But, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Just pay attention to Goatfish's tail uh, and fins that flash, that, that flash rainbow colours as well. Cool. Love it. Great stuff. Right, I am going to have to move on, though, because we've got so many games to cover tonight. <laughs> and we're going to run out of time. Time to move on. Plenty of games. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That was Goatfish 2. And look how smoothly it does do, just do the graphics. Very, very clever. Well done, uh, Poppy Chicken. I love it. Bravo, as Lucas says. Bravo. Quite an addictive little game. Indeed. That was number six in the competition there and we move on oh and we move on to our number seven game iron maiden fans prepare yourself 
If you like a bit of Iron Maiden, prepare yourself. Right? Oh, we had a little bit of lag there. It wasn't my end. Went choppy there. I've got no drop frames and no warning lights. Not my internet connection. That's YouTube's end. Um, are we are we okay now? Are we okay now? Stream dropped out for a second. Interesting. It's an excellent connection. Are we are we okay now, boys and girls? Okay, cool. Right, so in seventh percent seventh position, bewitched or be dead. <laughs> Bewitched or be dead. Alright. Be like your Iron Maiden. Be prepared. Nice loading screen. You might recognize this song. It looked like no. <laughs> well, it's kind of a cover of an I Maiden song. Ooh, be quick or be dead. Well, he's at the opening riff and drums. <laughs> There you go. Nice. Very nice. For those who know you made in. Anyway. Um, oh, Francisco. Thank you for joining in the Amstream, my friend. Take care and good night. Oh, okay, Arnie. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. Johnny boy, thank you for the tip for Andrea there. You've lost volume. Blimey. Not my end, I don't think, Andrea. Try uh, refreshing? Don't know. Bad insight. Okay, what's the instructions here? Right, cast crazy spells against your opponent in order to win. Now, unfortunately, the only downside to this game is it is two player only player only. You can't play against a computer opponent. And I can't go upstairs to wake up Mrs. Zypho to play against her. <laughs> so, I'll just have to sort of, like, play against myself on this one. Um, there's lots of icons to pick up here. Uh, things that uh, earn spell shots, earn uh, one life, uh, character swap. There's a bit, you pick up an icon there, strange things may happen, and there's a trap activator. But I may not be able to sort of really play this game to its like full extent, really, because I can't play against the second player here. Play with yourself? I, I, I think you play with yourself often, Retro and Lim, explains a lot. Yeah, I hear you there, Smoothie. <laughs> right, let's just start a game. And there's lots of different levels you can play on. Start on Spellbound. Hocus Pocus. The Ankh level in Egypt. Uh, Sultanage. Alakazar. Or Be Lucky. I don't know. This one looks quite nice, actually. Let's try that one. What's the other keys here? S. Right, so it's a two-player battle of wizards. Spells, right, so. Oh god, both the fire buttons are the same. Hang on, let me just quickly change my key for the fire button on the joystick. Close. Let me just pick up this quickly. So it's a two-player battle game, wizard versus wizard. It's like fused, but I can't. Uh... Ah! So I've turned my opponent into a zombie. 
Oh. How cool this is! So you run around up platforms and stuff, and you collect build uh, magic magic things and stuff like that. Let's go and zap him. And I've turned him into Larsenus. And I've zapped him again, and he's wrecked. Game over, and there's the winning player there. And he can restart and have more battles there. So we'll just see what else happens here. That was a lucky spawn. Oh, you can wrap around off the edge of the screen there. So for Let's fire that. Can't jump. Oh, you can fire it off the edge of the screen there. Did we get any other pickups in the game? There. Hey, FC Denhog's in the house. How are you doing, FC? Oh, there's an interesting pickup. What, what does this do? Crazy player two. Oh, it's reversed my controls. It has reversed my controls. You can't get hurt by your own shots. Oh, does it wear off? Top left is that Rolf Harris. Oh god, retro on limb. <laughs> How you doing, FC? How's your night been so far, mate? What are we thinking so far to this? It's a, it's a nice little two player battle going on. Right, have we got any more pickups? Oh my, my, my controls are still reversed. It doesn't wear off. They're still fully reversed. This is a pain in the bum. Lovely music, lovely graphics. I think I'll just kill him. Best tune so far tonight. You reckon? Right. Let's see if we get any other different pickups. Oh, here we go. Special item. It's a mystery item. Let's see what happens. Player freezes. Oh, hang on. So how do I... How do we go for... I think I've got reverse controls on that other player. Damn it. Okay. Let's see if we get any other strange things happen. See if we can get another special item. See if anything else happens. And then we'll maybe move on. What's up, Zypho's wizard sleeve? Ooh, how rude. Yep, minus one spell. Okay. So that's what the special item can sometimes do then. Turn him into a zombie. There you go. Right. That was bewitched or be dead. <laughs> Would like to see two player in action. I know it would be so fun if we could have Mrs. Zypho on stream playing this with us. That is definitely one of the best two-player games um, we've seen. Well, we're going to see, I think. Um, you better have some wine and stinky cheese, have you, FC Den Hog? Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. This looks great, but you need a friend to play with, and where am I going to find one of those? Oh, Matt. Aww. Aww. Uh, groundhog, so groundhog scales are F's about phase end, then it all starts over again. <laughs> <laughs> this is always cheap. 
He's gonna, uh, Retro is gonna break the house to steal his wrong collection. Oh, oh god. Oh, good grief, Alice Jim. His door's always open, waste of time locking it, round bomb, because you have to fix it when you get broken into it every night. Oh, grief. Right, I'm not going to spend 20 minutes on it, on it, Bello. I think we've seen all we're going to see on this one. What do you think to this one, boys and girls? And do we like Bewitched or Be Dead? Do we get a thumbs up for this one? It's cool. I think this is really, really cool. If only they had a, 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 a player versus CPU mode on this one. Could it have ended up higher than 7th place? Who knows? It might have been. But really, really good. Well done on this one. Exclamation mark clap in the chat, and I think this is um, a really really cool two-player game um, Really nicely done really nicely presented great graphics great music No, I'm not just saying it because they've done like kind of a half Iron Maiden cover here <laughs> Just because I made the fact the game the music in game is nothing to do with Iron Maiden um, But yeah, really good stuff really good stuff um I'm not going to wake her up, Retro and Liam. I'll get, I'll get slapped in the face. Um, um, uh, this game feels like a remake of a game like Duck Game. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not heard of Duck Game, Arnie. I'll have to check that out. Hey, Oxo, good. How you doing, mate? Sorry, but I'm drinking Lager Mixer Sprite again. Oxo, no. Have I been on it 20 minutes? I haven't, have I, Bello? Is there any shooter books in here? I think there are, but <laughs> I don't think they're uh, they're made by stu they're made by the students. Right. Um right, okay, that was Bewitched or Be Dead. Good stuff. Right, okay. Nice stuff, nice stuff. All right, okay, so what's our next game then? So that would be Witched or Be Dead. We now move on, I think, to the first game from one of the students, which is in eighth place, uh, eighth place, and we're at half, half past midnight. <laughs> I've got like so many to get through. Right, we'll have to do these quite quickly then. Half rest, number eight, half rest. Okay. Right. Okay. Half rest. Okay. And I think my uh, view count's got stuck again. Okay. Okay, let's have a look at the controls. Oh, I remember this. I think it's a quite nice animation on the main sprite. There's only two controls on this, which is P and O. Cabbage Corp. Hello, Cabbage Corp. Welcome in. Are you one of the students? If so, welcome in. Students from the University of Alicante. Welcome in. God, it must be quite late where you are, because um, you'll be half one in the morning for the students from the university. Uh, but most of you are at the bar at the moment, having pints of beer. So, welcome in. Hello, Cabbage. Let's go. Level one. Nice tune. Oh, remember, this is a slasher up. I like this. This was quite high on my um, rankings for because I was doing, I was judging graphics. I quite like the graphics on this actually. Oh, I lost a life there. Okay, let's go. Yes, it's got quite good music as well. So this is one of the student games. And I can see why this is ranked quite highly. One of the student games. Bear in mind, uh, this is like the first time they would have ever likely have ever seen, let alone touched an Amstrad before. And for their, their first ever Amstrad game, this, this, is, this is darn impressive. 
I like the animation, the slashing action on the sprite. Shouldn't they pull this off in like a few weeks? This is cool. Hey, good night, FC Den Haag. You going to a club? No worries, mate. Enjoy the club. Take care, mate. Have a good one. Oh, we got different music. What are these creepy creatures of like bowler hats? And don't say top hat gaming, man. <laughs> Bloody hell, retro name. <laughs> I hate you, OSG. <laughs> Looks like a human Papa Smurf. Awesome. Oh no, I lost life there. Oh! Okay. There's only six more of these. Oh my god! Oh! I got wrecked! Oh, a nice game over screen there. Fuck, I'm in bits. <laughs> in absolute bits. Oh! Hang on. Oh, we're back in again. There you go. That was half rest there. Oh! And immediately got wrecked there. <laughs> well done. Um, sorry, is, where's the credits there? Hang on. Uh, what team was this? Hang on, let me just see. Uh, half rest. From uh, team was this? Uh, pan pan uh, pan by Panatonent. Well done, the Panatonent team. Well done, Panatonent. Congratulations on getting um, eighth place. Well done. With 175 points. Congratulations. I think they were the highest ranked um, student team in the competition. So, congratulations. Cool. Well done, Panatonic team. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to crack on because we're running out of time tonight. So, what's the next game? Let's have a look. In ninth place is Abyssal. Abyss, Abyss, Abyssal. Oh, I think. Yeah, we could have a clap in the chat there. Why not? Yeah, well done. Well done, students. Uh, okay, so ninth place is uh, Abyssal. Abyssal. Okay, Abyssal. I think this is kind of a bit of a shoot 'em up. There you go, OSG. A little bit of one. All right. Abyssal. No, it's not retro on them. Okay. Nice little tune here so far. been winner so far. Everyone's a winner, babe. That's the truth. Ain't a soul. No, it's not. Oh, bet you on limb. Oh. It's a submarine amok. Oh, he can, he can auto fire. Okay, cool. Again, uh, this is a student game made by the students in the University of Alicante. Simple blocky graphics, but oh, oh my god. Snake. Little snakey.
Yeah, it moves about nice and smoothly. Pretty simple so far. We are the champions, my friend. All winners except Asteroid Attack, nil points. Oh, poor Asteroid Attack. I don't know what happened there with that one. Oh, these copies destroyed. Oh, Angry Starfish, I think, there. Arnie says, uh, oh, that snake's back. Hang on, Arnie. Oh, put some damage there. Very primitive, but still play smooth. Actually, it's, it is pretty smooth, actually, yeah. I will read your message out. Play smooth. This game is good, but could have been replaced a little bit more time in the oven. Exactly. Hold on, there's OSG. It's Alicante now. Not your posh pronunciation. Not, not your posh pronunciation of uh, Alicante. I never. I don't, I don't think I've ever said Alicante before. It's always Alicante. When, when, when did I ever say Ali, that before? I don't. I, I don't remember. <laughs> it was G. Alicante. I've always said that. Pretty sure. Oh! Angry, angry octopus! What the heck? It's leaving his limbs behind! Like a defense shield. And then he picks him up again. What the fart is going on? Is, is, is that meant to happen? Oh, we got him though. Oh, change of colors. What the hell was that thing? Alright, this ain't bad actually. If only it, there was like something scrolling to give the illusion that you're actually moving forward, that would be nice. Maybe some, just some bubbles moving past you. Oh, the jellyfish ap randomly appear and disappear. Alright, this game's got a few more surprises up its sleeve then. Fair play. Had a little boss fight there as well. Hey, Rough Rim! How you doing, Rough Rim? Welcome, my friend. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh. Alicate equals pliers, apparently. Right. Okay. Uh, I wonder how long this will go on for. I'm doing quite well. We'll have to move on very shortly. I'm conscious of time. I've got a lot of games to get through. See if there's another boss shortly, though, at least. Oh, Ooh, sneaky. Yeah, I've thought about this, haven't I? Oh, is this another boss? It's a boss. What the hell is that thing? All right, answers in the chat. What was that? Oh, level three. Okay, difficult now. That reminds you of an early Water Boys tune. 
What the? A whale with home, like you're sending out some kind of homing thing? Homing missile thing? I don't know what the hell that was. A little bit uh, darker blue, we're going deeper into the water. I like that. A hermit crab. Do you reckon it was a crab? It was your wife on the nag. <laughs> Let's read Sean Lim. Andy H, how you doing Andy? See what the next boss is. <laughs> that was a crab. You can heal yourself if you, if you stop firing. Oh! Don't fire and you can heal yourself. I am now healed. Wow. Thank you, Cabbage Cup. Cabbage Cup, is this your game? Side of this bad boy, giant squid. Hang on, he stop moving. Okay, oh, he's back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Get a health back. I might, I might stop after this boss. It might be the last boss, I don't know. Hey! You win! Final score. Oh, we, I think we beat the game. It is, yes. Oh, Cabbage Corp, it is your game. Well done, Cabbage Corp. <laughs> GG's, there you go. Not bad, that's not a bad little shoe in there. Fantastic. Cabbage Corp, well, well done. That's great. And a very deserved um, ninth place in the competition. I think you came second out of the student entries. Well done. Exclamation mark clap. Let's give them a round of applause in the chat since they're in here tonight. Let's give them a crowd clap. Well done, Cabbage Court. Well done, Cabbage Court. <laughs> well done. That was fun. You win. You win. There we go. <laughs> Nice music there as well. Thank you, Cabbage Corp. Well done. Put some scrolling on that and you're into a real gem. There you go. Nice and smooth. Fun to play. Nice design on the uh, sprites there. Nice variety. Good, um, and it's nice you've got like, different waves and stuff of enemies and things. Well done. Well done, Cabbage Corp. Well done. We are going to have to move on though because we've got so many other games to get through. Where are we? Still got 20 odd games to go. I've got to get through them in about an hour and 10 minutes, really, ideally. Hell. Right, we better crack on. Okay, well done, Cabbage Corp. Of course, you don't have much time to get them, yeah, in, get this done. I know, Cabbage Corp. But, like, well done. What you've done there is fantastic. Well done, Cabbage Corp. Well done. Thank you for your hard, hard work and efforts there. Okay, we move on to the game now in 10th um, place, which is Farming Spirits. There we go, 10th place. Right, okay. Oops. Right. Hopefully this will load up okay. 
Farming spirit. Now nah, we'll do it, Arnie. We'll do it. Oh, yes. I remember I had a problem with this one. Okay. I need to... Right, sorted. <laughs> UAOP Spacebar Nice loading uh, Nice title screen here Nice colourful logo This is about ghost cows <laughs> Credits There you go Louis Morata Lucia Oliva And Victor T Is that uh, Tiba so. Ben 3.40 a.m. Might be right, fellow. Anyway, let's play. Level 1. So what you got to do is shoot the spirits here, okay? Right. What it does here, it shows you you've got this one takes three hits to kill. Okay. Um. Okay. Pretty simple to start with. And it gets more complicated as we go along. Okay, that was a very, very easy level. Okay. Right. Trust me, it gets more complicated as you go along. Now, you can switch between two spells. A red spell and a blue spell by pushing left or right. Okay. But now you get like a blue spirit coming along. So you've got to switch. You can only kill the blue spirit with a blue spell. Okay. Right. Okay, so switch the blue spell to kill that. Right, don't trust me, it gets, it gets more complicated later on. Because then you get different levels to move up and down on. Okay, right, completed. You just get a nice easy introduction to the game to start with. Ah, and now we have to hop between two different levels. You see, you see. Do you see? So it sort of becomes like a bit like Tapper in a way. Do you see? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man, Shovel, yeah. There you go, Cabbage. People wanting to keep on working on the game. Oh, now we have Yellow Spirits. You've got to keep an eye on the, uh, on the Spirits as well, the, the counter above their head. Nice tune as well. I think it's a little bit quiet. Let me just turn it up a touch. There you go. Yeah. So not a bad little game this. You can see why this sort of plays higher. Nicely presented. Oh, now we get a mix of them. This is yellow, red, red. Ah. This one's blue, blue. So now the spirits are getting a bit mixed up. This one's blue, red, red. This one's red, red. Yeah. So now they start getting a bit mixed up, the spirits. So now it starts to get a little bit more complicated. Uh-oh. Set the wrong one out there. Oh god, right. Red, yellow, blue, red, red. Oh, 
God, right. Nearly, nearly, nearly cocked it up there. A very good character, really smooth. There's Maud. Hello, sneaky Maud. What did the simples at the... Uh... Oh, hang on. Bad out. Oh, I could have easily... What? You can't wrap around the top and bottom of the screen, by the way. Oh, no. Envelope there. Oh, I think it's a reference to the uh, the game they're supposed to pay tribute to. Two, three. Oh, oh, oh! Level completed. What do we think of that? Let me just catch up with the chat there. Oh, I'm just too, I had to concentrate too hard there. Oh, right. Just finishing in time the King's coronation. Oh, my God. Um, Nicely presented. It's a bit like Guitar Hero meets Tapper. Uh, that's a good analogy, Velo. Yes. Um, right. I think if the secrecy rush over ever got to 50 games, you would have to split it up between two different Friday Adams streams. Yeah, they've always kept it capped as a maximum of 38 games in the final, Matt. They've, got, they've, they've done that now for about um, eight years, I think. And I think they're going to carry on doing that, from what I know. What did the symbols at the end of the runs do? The symbol. Which symbols are you referring to? Um, what is it with wizards in games, or is it the same wizards? Yeah, we've had a few, haven't we, so far tonight. There's that envelope at the bottom there, Zai. Yes, the envelope. That was speed. Your speech did the first ever uh, winner of the CT Retro Dev. And this each game is supposed to try and do a tribute to the um, first ever winner of CT Retro Dev, Larsena's Legacy, for an extra point um, awarded in the ceremony. They get an extra point for that. Retro Limbs just modded his FM Towns Marty. Nice one. Matt Myers says a very cool looking game. I'm referring to the symbols at the end of the run. Run. Have a look. Uh, which symbols are you? Do you mean end of the run? These. What do you mean these? Oh, excuse me. Mm. They change colour. Uh. Oh, arse biscuits. I think I've died. That's game over. Right. I, shall, I think I'll probably... Yes, the second there. Oh, I don't know, Velo. Not sure. It might be just like telling you what the next colour might be coming out. I don't know. The, the, the signal when a new enemy will appear. Apparently, it says Cabbage Corp. Ah, there you go. Well, there you go. That one was uh, Farming Sprites. Sorry, Farming Spirits. Farming Spirits in 10th place. And I think that was a really cool little game there. Um. Yeah, I think it's quite fairly, fairly relatively unique. It's hard to get, an, it's hard to find an original, make, but ugh. it is hard to design and make an original game. It feels like every kind of game has been done and done now, doesn't it? But it's like, it's like trying to, it's trying to compose an original song on, a, a, like a, in a, an original rock song. Every type of chord and shape of chord and like. <laughs> combination of chords together has been done already at some point in shape or form, you know. But like, it's fairly, fairly uh, original and unique to CBC Retro Dev, so you've got to give it credit there. That's a fun little game there. Nicely done, nicely presented, nice graphics. 
Nice, nice music and sound effects there. All very nice and tied together, and I can see why. Um, I think it's like the third place out of the student game. So, yeah, well done, Farming Spirits there. Well done. I think we shall move on, because we've got a lot of games to cover. Oh! I think that this next one... I think this one's got the best name out of any game in the list. This one is called... Oh No! My Moustache. <laughs> Yes, this one's called Oh No, My Moustache. Fantastic. Oh No, My Moustache. <laughs> Thank you for the claps there. <laughs> yeah, Bewitched or Be Dead is a great name as well. Excuse me. Sounds dodgy. Who's up for a moustache? <laughs> From Alvaro Sanz, uh, Brit, uh, uh, Hugen, Hugen Stra, and Santos uh, Nujaros. Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing those names completely wrong. I apologise to the coders are watching. Insert coin with C. Defend yourself from the robots. Protect your moustache. <laughs> I love the presentation so far. Looks like Geiger Punk. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Right. It, it's like Tapper, but like from the top. We're gonna protect our moustache from the the naughty robot. Oh, the number of the robots tells you how many times you have to hit them. <laughs> I love the I love the spry. I think that's great. I, I actually quite rate this rate this quite highly for the graphics. It's nice nice and chunky spry. I love it. Crasher or Mad Bomber. Oh yeah, a bit like Mad Bomber. Like Homer Simpson with a Tash or what was that game uh where you like the two robots trying to nick stuff? Bonanza Bros. What's defending your Tash do? Not getting your moustache ruined and nicked and cut off or something. I don't know. Yeah, Mad Bomber Matt Myers, yeah. One more go. Looks like he can spam the fire button. That's interesting. With no penalties. Oh, so to yours, guys. little tune as well. It's a bit overly dramatic actually for the game. There's a wee bit of slowdown every now and again. I don't think there's any light uh, like uh, levels on this game. I think it's just like you just you just start this up and then uh, it's this one level forever and ever and ever I think. 
downside to this game is that there's no progression or levels or anything else. This is, this is just it, I think. For as long as you can like carry on going for. I think that's the, that, that's the downside to this game. Better grab a monster mate because I know there's loads to go. I think I need to move on, don't I? What do we think to this one? Oh, I missed the game over screen. I wanted to show the game over screen. Never mind. Plenty of moving sprites there. It gets a bit of a slowdown there. That was cool, though. Sounds like a night out in uh, Wigan, Lucas. What's that? Fun for a short burst of time. Yes, exactly. I mean, it's really nicely done. They've really put this together really professionally. What a great, like, title screen and uh, presentation. Uh, it got some nice music. I mean, the good, we've got this screen here and stuff like that. And then obviously in game here as well. But another two, two tunes of actually was it three tunes of music? I think there's, I think there's a game over music as well. Let's wait. But yeah, you get game over music as well. So there's three at least three tunes of music. And look, he's lost his moustache, and the robot's got the moustache. That's what happens, Valo. The the robot wants the moustache for himself. The vertical root beer tapper. Yes. <laughs> this is really professionally put together by the students, so well done. I like this a lot. I, I, I thought this was really well done by the students. He gets a clap from me. You have a button to protect it. But yeah, I really like this a lot. I thought um, there's a nice, nice bit of sense of humour there as well with, oh no, my moustache. I, like I like that. <laughs> There's a fire button and a tash button. What? Did I, did I miss there was an extra button? Yeah, yeah, you can throw things out. Shoot the robots, that was it. There's not an extra there's not another extra button. Yeah. Anyway, that was that was oh no, my moustache. There. Right. <laughs> Alright, one more one more game then I, I need to take a very quick break because I need to go to the toilet. Um What's the next game? Oh! Oh my goodness! Actually, one of the game actually, there's several games. I there's one game called Time Deathmatch, which I thought would have got a lot higher up the list. That's that's not a student game. I'm surprised that's as low as it is. And Morris.exe as well, which is the next game coming up. I'm surprised. That, that that is um, as low as 13th place. I thought this would be. I thought Morris.exe, our next game, would have been a lot higher. To be honest with you. And Tiny Deathmatch in 14. I would have thought that would have got 8th place, personally. Anyway, anyway. But anyway, Morris.exe is next in 13th place. Um, and let's fire it up. Morris.exe. You'd have to wait to the end for that one, Velo, I'm afraid, my friend. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the uh, credits on this one. Uh, Quico Blasquez, Lucilla Vasquez, and Alexandre Silar from Medusa Projects. I did. I'm so sorry. I'm so Oops. You're right. I'm so sorry. You're absolutely right. I think I'm getting a bit tired. I'm so sorry. You're right. Because, yeah, we went from 11th to 13th. Sorry. It's 12th place we're on now. Sorry. 12th place. My apologies. 12th place. I need a break. I think I need a break. Yeah, 12th place. Yes, 12th place. Sorry. 
It's Fitzroy and the uh, Confounding Labyrinth. I'm so sorry. You're right. You're right. Thank you, Velo. Yeah. And Retro and Liam. Yeah. 12th place. It's Fitzroy and the Con Confounding Labyrinth. Thank you for pointing that out. My apologies. All right. Sing for my in your best Ewok voice. What was that? Sorry. Uh. Oh, it's your birthday tomorrow. Jolly. Oh, it's your birthday, jo uh, Jolly. Tomorrow's Sunday. Tomorrow's Saturday, isn't it? Huh? But, okay. It's your birthday, Jolly. You want a birthday? Oh, okay then. Hang on. One second, Jolly. Um, let me um, let me find. I need to find the uh, birthday music. Bear with me. All right, I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Okay, boys and girls, it's Jolly's birthday. We'll do a quick uh, uh, excavate. Are you ready with exclamation mark birthday? Make sure the command's working. Be there. We're ready then. All right, exclamation mark birthday in the chat for Jolly's birthday. Are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jolly. Happy birthday to you. Man, should we need to sort out that missing note in the birthday song he did? Happy birthday, Jolly. Happy birthday, mate. Hope you have a lovely birthday weekend. Thank you. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you, Manship, for doing the happy birthday music. <laughs> hope you have a lovely birthday, Jolly, this weekend, my friend. I hope you do. I hope you do. Have a good one, mate. All right. I better crack on, though, with the game. <laughs> I'm so sorry for the bad singing, everyone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. So this is Fitzroy and the Confounding Labyrinth. <laughs> Back to the birthday cakes there, everyone. Right. Um, let's start the game. Oh. Oh, there's a little bit of music here. What do we do here? I forget now. Back the aubergines, I think. Right, we collect the aubergine things. Collect the keys. And the diamonds. And there's always a Fitzroy game entered every year into the competition by this coder. Always a Fitzroy game. Uh, it's fair to say that um, the graphics isn't always his sort of strong suit. <laughs> They're always like gen generally like quite fun to play. Yeah. Right. Get these aubergine. I think they're aubergine. I don't know what these things are we're picking up here. And yeah, sorry again for the bad singing. Matt says he doesn't mind. You can turn your volume up now, Retro and Liam. Don't don't pretend you didn't have it down. <laughs> we use the red key or not to save it? What's over over to the right? For... Oh, that's locked. Okay. Oh, there's a timer ticking down. Wow. Okay. It's like a fun little old school kind of like uh, maze game. Now I have a green key. Bloody hell, there's a timer. 20, 
Something like 20 seconds left. Ow! It's a race against the clock as well. Holy crap. Okay. The time our bottom right corner, we've got a red and green key. Yeah, so this is kind of okay. It's just it's like the graphics are so, like, so crude, bless it. But yeah, I quite like this. It's just it, it, it. Oh, there were that was spikes. Oh my god, so this has put me back to the start of the game. Ow. Oops. This is the sort of thing that would have been like a premium Amsoft title. What do you reckon? Roland is a vegetable. Fitzroy is greater than Roland. <laughs> Been a bit sort of slack here. Fitzroy is becoming the new mascot of the Amstrad. There's been about like at least what five or six Fitzroy games um, in the CPC Retro Dev now. Was last year's game Fitzroy goes diving or something or dives deeper? Was last year's Fitzroy game? Honestly, this is excellent. Okay, Velo. Velo's liking this a lot. I think the I think the coding on this is all right. Yeah, definitely. I think it, it just graphically it could really do a bit of a spru it could do a spruce up graphically. Uh, musically, it's re uh, music's all right. It's very low in volume, though. Weirdly, I've got the green and red key. Oh yeah, spike trap! Watch out for the spike trap. Again, he says before falling the spike trap again, probably. Right, two yellow. We need two yellow keys to get out. Red. Oh, it's red key for the top or bottom. That will go for the top one. There's the first yellow key we need. Ah! I've been spiked. And we go back to the start again. Oh, I can't, I can't go through all that again, so we don't have time. But as you can see, guys, it's quite a, uh, a fun little, um, I suppose it's a maze game, really. Um, garish colours used there, though. Like, that sort of lime green and brown with white splodge. <laughs> Graphically, perhaps not great on the eyes, but I think the gameplay is solid. Um, it's coded well. Um, it's a nice game to chill out with. Yeah, the game back to the start is a bit rough. I think there's like the the instant death spike pit thing. That is a bit rough. Yeah, you could look at it a bit like a Boulder Dash game. Yeah, I suppose. Even though it's kind of like, I suppose it's kind of like it feels more like a top a top down affair. You could look at it almost like it's like a side-on affair, I suppose, in a way. But yeah, but yeah, it's quite a nice little game actually. Um, yeah, not bad actually. Looks crude, plays good. Yeah, Robin. Yeah, not my jam, but it's a slight charm to it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, at work, how you doing? Might have made it a little. Uh, might have made it a little bit hard. Hmm. Oh, at work, is this your game? I think this is your game, isn't it? Um, Adrian, isn't it? Uh, this is your Fitzroy game. How are you doing at work? Yes, yes. 
You, but you're, uh, Bellow's not happy with the criticism of the graphics. You can tell what things are, etc. It's clear, smooth. Yeah, well, you can see what things are. I think it's, I don't know, it's a little bit garish. <laughs> but beauty is always in the eye of the beholder. And it uh, comes down to per personal um, choices, really, at the end there. Yeah. Fitzroy game number seven. We're trying to work out how many Fitzroy games there were. I thought there were six. I was close. Number seven there. Well done. Well done, my friend, uh, on this one. I'm sorry I don't have time to play it much long, uh, for much longer. Uh, we're going to have to move on. But well done on getting on 12th place. Well done. But I enjoyed last year's Fitzroy one, definitely. And I'm liking this one. I, I'm sorry I haven't got time to play for much longer on the stream tonight because technically I'm supposed to finish at 2 a.m. It's now 20 past 1. I'm only on game number 12. And I've got, oh Jesus, there's 36 games. And I've got, I'm on game number 12, I've got 24 more games to fit in in 40 minutes. And I need to have a break soon as well. <laughs> so you can see how it's going. Right, can we give a word, if that's how you how I should pronounce the name, a clap in the chat there. Well done, a word. Or is it Adrian, isn't it? I think it's Adrian. Right. One third through in a four hour, 20 minutes stream. Hello, you not remind me. <laughs> Exclamation mark clap in the chat there. It is Adrian, isn't it? Yeah, I should put, perhaps you don't want your real name given out. Oh, it was a passcode. Um. Is there... Oh, it's a colour mode. Green mode. Colour mode. Green mode. This is for green screen. Awesome. Wow. That's cool. Brilliant. Okay. Nice one. Thank you. And well done, my friend. Well done. Hey, Gambit. Good night, my friend. What the last level passcode? I'm going to have to move on, though. I, I've got no time left. If you want to share it in the chat, that is totally up to you. That is totally up to you, your work. <laughs> um, good night, Gambit. Have a great weekend, my friend. Take care. Take care. All right. Next game. Oh, I need a break. I ought to have a break, really. I need to crack on, though. Oh... How are we doing? All right, we'll do one more game and then uh, I'll have to have a quick break. I need to rest my eyes just for a minute. Right, next game there in 13th place is Morris.exe. We get, we finally get to Morris. I've fired it up accidentally. I've got it in the wrong way around. Right, Morris.exe. Let's get Morris up and running. Have a Kit Kat, mate. Crack on then, take a break, yeah. This time we will, we will show the credits again. Uh, credits, Quico, Vladquez, Lucilla Vasquez, and Alexandru Sula from Medusa Project. No, no, I'll take a break after this game. Just for a minute or two. Now this is a cool little game. You've got to, you've got to shift this little um, pink worm around the maze. He's on like a circuit board, right, inside a computer, I believe, or something like that. And he's going to get to the exit there, which is the yellow thing there. You're going to move left, right, up and down. And he, and he, uh, he moves, um, he keeps moving in the direction you push him. So if I push right once, You'll keep moving right until he hits a wall. It's quite loud, isn't it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because, sorry, um, a works game, Fitzroy, was a little bit low in volume. Man Shovel, you enjoy Lurk Mode? Thank you, mate. Thank you for the donos earlier. You take, you take care, dude. 
I'm not sure, quite sure what the backstory to this game is, but you're collecting computer chips and clearing bugs on a circuit board inside a computer. We're going to get the chip first at the bottom of the screen there before we get to the exit. No, no, man, shovel. Take care, dude. Thank you again, mate. We're going to go all the way around here. Like this. So, there you go. So, so simple concept. I think we've seen this kind of concept before in the simple CPC retro dev. Uh, but, but I like how this one was presented. I like the, I quite like the simplicity in the graphics here. Now get some enemies on the screen. In the way. I thought this I thought this one was quite good fun actually. But yeah, you just press it's like if I just push right once, he just moves in that direction until he hits the wall until you stop. So you gotta think about your moves ahead. It does look a bit horrissy, doesn't it? Oh my god. Andrews Andrews will be su suing, won't he, Velo? <laughs> oh god. Checkpoint. We've got a little screen now of like two worms together. Oh! Got Rex there. Oops. Nice little game this, I think you get the concept and as you can see it starts getting a little bit more complex as we go along. Uh, oh shoot, oh no we need to get around the bottom here. Oh bugger, I think I've asked it up, actually no I haven't. Like the little main sprite there, a little worm bobbing up and down. That's cool, isn't it? Like a mini globule. Uh, May Mace it looks nice, but we've seen this game design quite often. Yes, this game kind of like game design gameplay we've seen quite often in the CPC Retro Dev. There's usually one like this every year or every two years, but this is really nicely done, really professionally done. A lot, a lot of sprites moving on the screen there quite smoothly. I like kind of the aesthetic of the circuit board and um, the green sort of like fading in and out there. Um, I like how you can collect computer chips and you're like the worm cleaning up the bugs. But it all ties in quite nicely together. I like the aesthetic of this. I think they've done really, really well there. So well done, uh, the team there. Yeah, I like this one. This is fun to play. It's gen genuinely fun, and it all works very well, and it's really competently programmed. So I, I think this is a really good production. The, the whole package just ties together very nicely and just works. And I'm about to die anyway, so... Checkpoint. There you go. Cool. What do we? So yeah, there we go. That was. I think we should move on from there. Um, Morris. Exe. Good stuff. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, right, that was a good one there. 
Oh, it's Jolly Off. Good night. Uh, uh, are you saying good? I think Jolly. Oh, it's Jolly Off. Oh, so we'll catch up tomorrow on the first games at the end of the stream. It's 2 30 a.m. or 30. Cheers. All. No worries, Jolly. You take care, Jolly. Um, have a great birthday weekend, my friend, as well. Take care, man. Happy birthday again, Jolly. Um, that was a cool wee game there. Yeah, I like that one. A little break time then. I need to go to the loo. I've been holding it in for a while and I need I think I need to get another drink from the fridge anyway. I need to give my eyes a quick rest. Guys, I'm taking a break just for one to two minutes, okay? Um, and I'll be back with you. And uh, what has been your favourite CPC retro dev game so far? What has been your favourite CPC retro dev game so far? Was it Castaway? Was it Penguin Attack? Was it Diadare? Dru Druid and Droid? Or Deep Deeper Deepest? Was it Goatfish too? Be Witch or Be Dead? Half Rest, Abysmal, Farming Sprites, Oh No My Mustache, Fitzroy, or was it Morris.exe? But coming up after the break, I'm looking forward to this one. This one I thought would have been much higher. Tiny Deathmatch. If you ever wanted to play Worms on the Amstrad, yes, Worms, you know? We just saw a worm in this game, actually. The last game. But no, I'm talking about worms, yes. Worms. With the banana... You know, remember banana, banana bombs, grenades? Phew. What, what's the, what was the famous worms noises? Oh, I can't remember. Yeah. You know the one. Worms in the PC and all that. Exploding sheep, banana bombs, grenades and all that. Worms on the Amstrad. Coming up. After this break. I'm not joking. Well, a very cut down version of Worms on the Amstrad. Coming up after this short one to two minute break, I will be right back.
right, guys and girls. Thank you for sticking with us. I think the UK got and hey, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you very, very, very much. Let's see what the chat's been saying. Hey, Brian. Good evening, Brian O'Higgins. Uh, how you doing, my friend? Welcome in. Welcome in. They've been great so far, says Anna. Yeah, they have. No arse candles have been produced by Anna tonight. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> <coughs> oh, welcome back. 8-Bit um, Retro Refix. I thought you'd gone to bed, mate. I know, we've got so many to go through tonight still, but we'll crack on, we'll crack on. Looks like maybe it will be a 2.30 finish at the earliest. I know, I know. Oh, I'm going to need a timer. I know, right, okay. I'm going to move on now to a 14th place game. The Tiny Death Match. It's Worms on the Amstrad. Kind of, kind of. A very, very cut-down version of Worms on the Amstrad, but I, I I, was, like, freaking surprised by this one. And check out the loading screen on this one as well. Are you ready for this? Tiny Death Match by Francesca uh, Alasorsa. Here we go. Here we go. I'll pause my music here. Are you ready for this loading screen? Look at this. <laughs> Get to the chopper. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll beat a bit of Predator. <laughs> Wicked. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any music in game. So let me just bring mine right down. Anyway music about there. Go. Cool. Uh, players, you can have, how many players can you have? You can have up to four players. Play one's human. I uh, can have four CPU players or four, four human players. Five minutes on the match. And you can have all to find the keys for each of the players there. So you can have like, uh, yes, you can have up to four four human players, multiplayer, brilliant. And let's, should we start the match? And it randomly generates the landscape every time, just like in Worms. OSG and steroids in the middle there. <laughs> Not seen OSG wearing a hard hat before though. Are you still chilling and watching and learning new system games? Oh, nice. Nice. Fellow could get a kebab right now. Oh, get Uber Eats to bring you one. Buy to play or left to regenerate. Yeah, we'll go with this landscape. And here we go. Team one, it's your turn. I think... Yes, it's us. Fire to move or abort to skip. All right, so we're the, we're the team in orange and we're going after the team in green. We can move our player about. Let's let's see if we can jump him. Ah, uh, I can't actually. All right, he's safe here, so we'll um we'll, we'll sit him here. Let's see if we can get a good grenade on the go then. So, unfortunately, we've only got grenade. You can only fire grenades. So, you've only got one weapon. So, unlike worms, where you've got multiple weapons like machine guns and shotguns and banana bombs. On worms on the Amstrad in Tiny Deathmatch, you've only got grenades. Okay, so we'll try this. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's see how we do. Ah, oh, missed. Okay, <laughs> but you have to be on the same. Yeah, you have. To, you have to be on the same screen. Oh, he's jumping at me. So it's computer's turn. What, what's he gonna do? Oh, right. He's he's screwed up. <laughs> 
So this is probably the closest we're going to get the worms on the Amstrad. All right, we'll put him in the tree here. And let's see if we can actually get this guy here. Okay, you ready? Okay. Wind 15. All right, we've got wind. Uh, we also got wind as well. The wind is blowing against us. So we want to try and get this guy here. We've got a force value on our shot and our grenade. Okay, let's try it. Oh, man. But I took some energy off him. He's down to 86 health. This is better than real worms. It was far too complicated. <laughs> Are you liking this then so far, Velo? What do we think to this, boys and girls? The very, very cut down version of worms on the Amstrad. I think this is pretty ace. What's the computer doing? He's going. The computer's going nuts trying to get the man in place on the tree. There's a timer bottom left corner. That's the global timer, I think. There's a five. We set a five minute timer on the match. Oh, he's, he's given up. <laughs> he ran out of time. It's got potential, Defo. Yes. Uh... Let's get him out of the way. He's too close to my other player there. Spread him out a little bit. Can we get him up the tree? We can! Alright, okay. Let's try. Try and do a little, little one. We'll try a sneaky one over the top. Uh oh! No! 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 I hit my own player. <laughs> oh God! That was disastrous. This, this was Twitch. So I found him in the in the chat, and he's hit himself. Oh, what a dickhead! <laughs> Worms meets world-class leaderboard. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. Oh, no. The wind's against us. This is not good. Oh, that's a good hit. He's down to 66 health. That was a good one. You reckon they're naked? They're orange in colour, not pink. Retro on limb. This is good fun. Although we're running out of time on the match. There's only two minutes left. He missed. Now it's my turn. Right, okay. Oh, no. That was rubbish. That was rubbish. Naked tango men. You reckon that... Oh, the, Anna re Lucas reckons they're Donald Trump's. Oh, no. He got me good there. Right. I need to probably maneuver him. Out of, out of here. I'll oh, screw it. I'll do it here. Right, ready. Ah, uh, wasn't a direct hit there. Seventy down to seventy-two health. Bugger. <laughs> I think we need longer on the uh, on the match here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were still here, OSG. You've been a bit quiet. Oh, good night, OSG. Night, night, mate. Have a great weekend, dude. And we'll see you again soon. Take care, man. Have a good one, sir. Always good to have an OSG here. Night, night, mate. Take care, mate. Right, and... Oh, smack right on him. Down to 56 health.
The only thing that this game is lacking is it should be like a forced knockback on the players. If you hit them with something, they, they need to be like knocked backwards. Uh. Right, I'm going to try a really long one here. Ah, that's way too strong. Never mind. Good night, OSG. Take care, man. No one's died yet, I think. Ah, oh, I didn't get him there. Time's running out on the match. I think we're spending too long on this one. We need to move on to another game, but... Oh no! Oh no! Down to 71 health. Oh. Pretty cool attempt at Worms type game on the Amsterdam says Fenrir. I wonder what they'd have been able to add to this had they not been limited to the competition time frame. Yes, I hope. I hope. I think Fran Francesca was uh, Francesco was in the chat earlier. Um, I think he might have left now because it was getting late. Um, I hope he revisits this and adds more to it because I, I, this is really good. I think there's potential. Do more of it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right on his head. Oh, he's on 26 health. And I hope, I hope, I hope he comes back and adds more to this. Because this is really good. Really good. Oh, Poppy Chicken. Hello, Poppy Chicken. Poppy Chicken, we were loving Goatfish 2. The chat was going nuts about it earlier. How are you doing, uh, Poppy Chicken? Oh, he's down to free health. We nearly killed him. Poppy Chicken, hello. It's Irving Pajor. We were all supporting you because I was telling everyone we had a member of the Am Squad with a game in the uh, CPT Retro Dev. So we were all cheering you on earlier. We're talking about it in the Discord as well. And so we were like really, really hyped about it. So we we were loving Goatfish. Did that get anyone? No. So well done, Poppy Chicken. Where did you come again? Let me just double check. Uh, Goatfish... Oh, yes, you got sixth place. Congratulations again, Poppy Chicken. Well done. Well done. Poppy Chicken there. The coder of Goatfish 2. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let me just kill this guy. We're going to run out of time here. Can we kill him? No. Sudden death. Match over. Team 1 wins the match. I think we won the match. We were Team 1. Because we had the most amount of energy. We didn't have enough time in the match there for anyone, <laughs> for anyone to kill anyone. Well done, Poppy Chicken. Was there a technical award this year? I, I, I don't... I can't remember who got the special awards. But, like, um, there you go. Um, that was Tiny Deathmatch. Uh, a miniature version of Worms on the Amstrad CPC. That was cool. GG's, GG's. Claps for Tiny Deathmatch and claps for Poppy Chicken in, in the chat there as well. Well done, Poppy Chicken. And uh, I missed you being in the chat as well, Poppy Chicken. It's good to see you back, my friend. Well done, Poppy Chicken on Goatfish 2. We like Goatfish 1. But Goatfish 1 was cool. It's a shame that went kind of unfinished, of course, but like... Um, uh, and Velo, good point there. It says, I felt you couldn't do Goatfish 2 on any other 8-bit anything like as good. 
There you go. There you go. Oh, yes. 8-bit retro fix. Um, exclamation mark. Uh, CPC retro dev 2022 gets you the links for all uh, anything you need for, this, for the retro dev. The main website and also the itsio page to download all the games. There you go. Nightbot has responded. Cool. Good stuff. That was Tiny Deathmatch. Um, and we need to move on. Right. Next game. Uh, Rise of the Night. Oh, actually, this is quite a good one, actually. I quite like this one. 15th place, Rise of the Night. Right, but yeah, we do need to crack on. I hear you, Bella. I need my eyes are starting to as well. Oh, it's a bit loud, this. No worries, Poppy Chicken. No worries. You gotta have a watch if you want, mate. We've got the credits for people there. Antonio Roldan, Ruben Dobon, and Miguel Aorta. Let's play Rise of the Night. Oh. Oh, a bit of a scroll going on the go there. Knights versus zombies. And if you time it right, you can get a combo on the go. If you time the swing right, you get points for a combo. Swing, swing, sw and if you get it wrong, you get a miss and you get knocked back. All right, Poppy Chicken, we'll catch you in a bit. You're gonna rewatch the bit of the Am stream with his game, I assume. But now we get skeletons. Ah, oh, I missed. And I lost a bit of life. Night will flash yellow when you've done a when you timed your swing right, and you can do a combo. Then if you don't, you get that miss up here. Ah, uh, get it wrong, you might get hit by the zombie or whatever creature you're fighting against. Nice sword. a bit of the health there. I'm going to move backwards to avoid that. Oh no! I've only got one health bit left. stuck on that bit where the screen scrolls. There you go. My achy breaky heart, says Velo. What? Wish there was a competition like this for the Atari 800. Oh, I love the Atari 800 XL, Lucas. You now got a soft spot in my heart for that machine. Why am I getting the combo wrong and the swing wrong here? Huh? Why is my timing wrong there? Huh? Why am I getting the swing wrong here? I don't, I don't, or my sword wrong. I don't get it. 
Poking skeletons with your fleshy sword like date night at an old folks home. Whoa! Speaking from experience there, Malcolm. Why is my timing wrong on my swing? I don't get it. I saw a sexy skeleton in a cartoon. It confused me, says Anna. <laughs> What, why am I constantly getting misses on my sword swing? I, d I don't understand. I think the sprite is really cool. Graphics are nice. It's okay. It's a bit repetitive though. Why? Oh, I've got a bit of a health, uh, health back. Why am I not getting... A Good swings here on the sword. I don't get it. Because you are missing? Why am I missing all of a sudden now? It was working before. It's like Shadow of the Beast, but good. <laughs> oh no! Oh! I got a combo there. Miss, 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 miss. I, I don't get what's going on here. And I died. All right. That was cool, it was interesting, but I don't know, I, I, hmm, yeah, that music's getting a bit annoying now, I don't know, I, I don't know why the collision detection went, in fact, the collision detection went wonky on the, on the second level on the zombies there, like, uh, the, the sword wasn't, like, connecting and getting the combo thing there, or something. I, 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 I don't know, but otherwise, that was, like, really cool, uh, I think it was nicely presented, it's nice background graphics, nice use of the Amstrad's colour palette. It reminded me of like the um some of the levels in Shinobi where we had the um uh like the factory level was it or was it the one with the the scoop the suit the scuba men jumping out the water where it uses a nice uh, greys and blues. Anyway, I know what I'm talking about, if you don't. <laughs> um but yeah, uh, I like the sprite design there. It was I thought that was quite quite nice looking. Uh, nice big sprite. They even had a bit of a scroll on the Amstrad there, even if it, it's a bit laggy. Um, but yeah, that wasn't bad at all. And uh, I can see why that ended up getting quite high up there in 15th place. So there we go. That was Rise of the Night. And I better crack on with the next game. Okay. So, Rise of the Night in 15th place. Next up, we move on to 16th with The Wormhole. Oh, the coder was in the chat early asking about this one. I don't know if he's still here or not. But we move on to The Wormhole. The Wormhole. Another game involving worms. We've, we've had, we're have talking about worms a lot tonight. All right. Um, oh, hang on. I'm going to have to load this from a snapshot. The wormhole. Oh, hang on. I need to blow my nose. Sorry. I'll mute the mic. Silent Ams honk there. This looks uh, interesting. All right. This one's a falling down simulator. All right. Okay. Fall to start the game. Oh. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, yes, I remember this. You've got to keep falling. This one... Oh, arse. Oh, nice scroll. Oh, yeah, this gets quite frustrating quite quickly, this one. <laughs> I remember. Ah, oh, spiscuits. Ah, oh, you drop down and then you jump. I remember that. Okay, yeah. Like that, yes. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey, try not to get triggered, Zai. Like that, okay. Whee! You made it to level two. Right, there you go. Not called the glory hole, wormhole. Oh, you are actually off now, 80 bit retro refix. Right, guys, off to bed. Bed's calling and a video to do tomorrow. Best get some Catch you all later. Good night, 8 bit retro refix. Thank you for coming and chilling in the Am stream tonight. Take care, my friend, and good luck with your excellent retro uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you check out his YouTube channel, um, excellent repair videos and all retro content on 8 bit retro refix. So do check that out and uh, take care. Have a great weekend, my friend. Oh, God. There's a buzzy thing, Chase. Ah! Go! Oh, oh no! I was so close to getting away from that. Where that space firefly thing is. Bloody hell. Top tip, avoid the spikes. Velo, don't turn into Johnny Boy with his top tips, Velo. That's that's my top tip. Oh, he glitched off the screen. Oh. Oh, to my advantage, though. Take care, mate. Take care. What happens to the goose? Normally you hear a honk and you go... I remember to mute the microphone. I normally I just get up and forget to forget to mute the mic because I'm a, I'm a bad, bad streamer. So pro. Ah! Got lasers to avoid now. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look at these spikes. I've got to jump between. There's no light, but you just get respawned at the start of the level. Ah! <laughs> oh, I wonder if this has been made a little bit too tough. I don't know. I don't know. I, it depends how many levels that there are in the game, I suppose. Oops. A, sim a simple little tune. A bit plinkety plonkety, but it's better than having no tune. Oh man, you just hit your head on the ceiling and it just like puts off your 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 jump your jump there. Ah, oh, sorry I've been a bit impatient there. Ah, hmm. You're starting to enjoy the pain he's going through. Oh, thank you, Velo. Uh, almost as trolly than almost as trolly than Zypho's nightmare. <laughs> I'm getting it legs. Good night, Zypho. Have fun. See you next week, Lucas. No worries, mate. Take care, Lucas. Have a good one, mate. Have a nice weekend, sir. Take care, Lucas. Have a good one, mate. See you soon, dude. All the best, mate. 
Thanks for hanging as always. That lovely crunchy sound. Sounds like he shat his pecs. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Okay, I can't play this for too long. I, I kind of just want to see the end of the level, really, but... <gasps> okay, good collision detection, I suppose. Oh, man. I think I just need to push left a little bit harder and longer. Sorry, my bad. Ah! Sorry. Oh, and now I'm rushing it. Come on, Zai. Ah! Wait. I could do a quick snappy, couldn't I? I could do a quick snappy. Go on. Go on, then. A quick snappy. Quick snappy. Oh, I did it there! <laughs> hey! What the f... Oh, we got new music! What the... The frick are these spikes? <laughs> oh, that that will kill you. How? Hang on. I dug this game cold and free. <laughs> meant to get past if surely you can't get round that You can't. You can't. You can't push left far enough from there, surely. There's not enough. Can you? What am I missing here, guys? Um, What's that stick at the top? Nothing. I don't think I don't think it's anything. Five one doesn't doesn't do anything. You could jump on the air if you let yourself drop. Jump on the air. 
Uh, I don't know what you mean, cabbage. Uh, just fall off a platform, then jump. Huh? Oh! What? I didn't know that. Oh my god, I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. All right, that's cool. But, like, we've run out of time on this one. We need to move on. I, did, I, I didn't know that was, like, um, a, a game mechanic. So you can just, like, fall off a platform, then you get, you get to do, like, it allows you to do, like, a little jump. Wow. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good game. I like that. But we have to move on. Okay, that was cool. That was the wormhole in uh, 16th place. Very good. I mean, the quality we've had so far, like, is amazing, really. Up to 16th place, I mean, I've got to say, like, last year. At, at this point last year, the quality had sort of really dipped by 16th place. Not being harsh. I mean, there were still decent games, but like it, the levels where they were last year to where it is this year, you know what I mean? Safe, safe. But like, they were still good last year, but wow. That's that's really good. That is really good. Well done. Um, yeah, I guess a clap from me. Exclamation mark clap. Uh, God, is it 2.15 a.m.? Right, we're going to crack on. We're going to crack on. Next game, 17th. Coin jump. We're going to go these really quickly now. We're going to go really quickly on these. Coin jump from insert name. Work. That means we're going to have to load it from tape. <coughs> Unless I've got a snapshot of it. I haven't. Rap. Load it up at a thousand percent speed. Coin jump. I am a master of that. Right, O, P, and Q. Oh, it starts off straight away. Oh, we're already in and collecting coins. This is nice and fast and smooth. Rolls are good. It's like unlimited lives. Keep doing it until you can do it, basically. but effective graphics. Music, uh, yeah, not so much, but uh, I like, I like. We get a lot of these games every year, basically. The end. Hang on. 
I reckon we can beat it. Hang on then. Well, that was close. Oh, we did it! Hey! There you go. That was Coin Jump. A, a simple but effective game. GG's. That was Coin Jump. <laughs> hey! Well, there we go. That was Coin Jump. Uh, in 17th place with 125 points. Oh, it worked. It, the controls nice and responsive. It, it zipped about the screen nice and fast. We get a lot of those type of games every year, uh, but it worked. Um, it was bright and colourful. Um, it was fun, but way too short. But um, a good effort. That could have been expanded, more levels, um, some more interesting game mechanics, maybe some baddies to jump past or something like that. And has potential. Has potential. Sprite, didn't play again. <laughs> All right. Okay. In 18th place is Zoloers. Zoloers. I think this involves zombies. Zoloers. Okay. From Blue Panda Studios. All right. We're halfway through. Halfway through. OPQA, avoid zombies, get all the keys, reach the exit. Oh, this is quite good, actually. This one, bad. this one isn't bad, actually. Nearly halfway. Oh, this is oh, it's like a little maze game, this one. Run around a maze, get chased by zombies, collect the keys, get the exit. Like a really early arcade coin-up game. Actually, this is quite cool. Yeah, it's not bad, this one, actually. Really. Uh, nice sprites. I like the sprites. The only thing I marked this down one, and in my category, I was judging graphics, was like... The maze uh, design is a little bit dull looking. <clears throat> Don't know why they went for sort of a grey and dark red kind of look for the maze. Could have made it look a little bit more exciting and dynamic looking, really. Oh, the artificial intelligence is good on the uh, zombie chasing you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's homing in and you can confuse him so it's a bit of that oh mummy vibe if it has that sort of early 80s arcade coin up uh feel to it as well oh it's homing in oh god is right on my ass Go through the door, that's okay. They move at the same speed as you. Okay, that's cool. Music's a bit repetitive. Uh, it's very repetitive. Okay. Yeah, oh mummy vibes, definitely. 24 hour stream, let's go. <laughs> about that. What are you doing? Yeah, I just wish the maze uh, design was a bit more bright and colourful, a bit more interesting and exciting. Now I've got two zombies chasing us. Uh oh, oh no! Oh, I got caught by the zombie! Wrecked. Oh, don't have to replay the letter, get all the keys again, just go straight to the exit. Cool. That's good. Game doesn't force us to get all the keys on the level again. Nice. Probably after this? Nah, we'll carry on. We'll crack on. Cool. Uh, we'll finish this level and might move on after this.
Oh, is that a new baddie? What the hell is that doing? Is he wearing a pizza on his head or something? Or is that a hard hat? Ah, oh, I got wrecked. There you go. That was that was Zolowers. I think we I think we see more. We're gonna we, we're all gonna. I think that's all we're gonna see in the game. I think. <laughs> there you go. That was Zolowers, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're gonna have to move on. We're really, really, really short of time. There you go. That was Zolowers in 18th place. Next up, we have. Halfway six hours. Next up is Space Avocados in 19th place. Space Avocados. What a name from Okacho Games. Space Avocados. Space Avocados. I've got a zombified Zai. I'm... Oh god. I am going to be very zombified. Tomorrow morning, probably. Single player or multiplayer? Oh, interesting. All right. What the hell? Oh, I remember. You're an half an of avocado, and you can fire at your pit in the middle there. And the, the pit from your green avocado, if it if it fight if it, if an enemy goes into it, it dies, right? You see that? Oh arse, oh, I just lost a bit of energy there. You see what I mean? Uh it's a bit of a bizarre kind of a uh, gameplay mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I've lost two bits of health already. Oh. Got an extra life there. Back. Wrecked. Need to get my pit back there, so I need to line myself up with. Got him. Yay! Oh, Jesus. Bit repetitive on the old music there. Oh. Oh. Oh, I got him. I don't know why one of them just spontaneously just died there. Oh. Got a life back. Oh, right, we're doing well there. What the hell is it's a giant aubergine? Or oh, sorry, eggplant if you're in America. Oh, he's got a red energy bar at the top there, so I'll just leave my um hit there. Oh game <laughs> The giant aubergine got me there. I think this is better than the last one or two. It, it's definitely got some uh, uh, weird appeal to it. <laughs> well Well that was Space Avocados. Um, it's certainly a bit different for your standard single screen sort of space uh, um, gallery shooter. <laughs> that was Space Avocados. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Any, thought, any other thoughts on that one, boys and girls? Okay, original. Interesting idea for a game. It's not a banana. It's not good enough, says Anna. Matt Myers gives it a clap. Yeah, I quite like that one. At least it's different. At least it's different. 
There you go. Space Avocado is in 19th place. At least he's in triple digits in the school there with 107 points in the competition. We'll have to move on. So, in 20th place, we've got Go To My Planet. Go To My Planet. Hey Hong gives it a clap. Let's go. Go To My Planet. Oh, hang on. I read my uh, results there. Okay, here we go. This one is go to my planet and it failed to load. Brilliant. Oh, got a snapshot. Oh, hang on, it's blowing my nose again. Sorry. Oh no, I didn't mean the mic, sorry, hang on. Uh. Uh. Bloody hell, I know. Oh, and I think my view count's been stuck for a while again as well. Oops, yeah, we've been... Sorry, hey on. Right, go to my planet. Dude. Right, let's do joystick. Okay. Oh, Matt Myers. Good night, Matt. Thanks for tuning in, mate. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon, mate. Take care. Right. Press E to start. What? Oh, my goodness. It's a scrolling shoot em up. Where's OSG? You've been wanting another one. Um, we're in a spacecraft, but we're fighting against helicopters. Which presumably puts us on Earth. We've got a scrolling landscape at the bottom there. Feels more like... Um, oh, gosh. Silkworm or something like that. Or... Um, Alright. Actually, this moves about quite smoothly. This is actually a lot better than a lot of scrolling uh, shoot 'em ups on the Amstrad that that, that were commercial. Oh, <coughs> that were commercially commercially released. Certainly a lot of better than a lot of the budget shooters or a lot of the scrolling shoot 'em ups that came out from Spain. Flibble San, hello Flib, how you doing, Mr. Simon Osborne? Flip, I'm sad you missed. Oh no, my my moustache. I'm sorry you missed that game. Oh, I was, I was looking. I was reading the chat there. Hang on. Ah, uh, what? Ah. Uh. Oh, I didn't select joystick. You hate work. Oh no, bad night at work. Right, see if we can get like to a boss or an end of a level or something. I think there is an end of level. From what I remember, because I obviously had played this before. But not as good as Relentless. Oh no, of course not. But this is playing pretty smoothly. Thankfully, you can hold down the fire button for like auto fire. He, only, he does only fire out one rocket at a time. God damn it. Oh, 
travel back to the helicopters. Oh, they're going to like a little attack pattern wheel about a bit. Nice. Oh, no. Sugar. Johnny Boy just phoned me. He says to avoid being shot. All right, I'll give this one more go. But I might even get my arcade stick. Look at that. I'm even getting the arcade stick out for this one. That's how sweaty I'm getting now for this one. The arcade stick's out. Actually, works really well. I'm going to give this game kudos. Actually works quite well. Quite good quite fun uh, this is better than every single probably uh, budget scrolling shoot em up i have played on the amstrad from what was it what was that cone masters one that was bloody terrible um oh i've got the name of it now oh johnny boy is still with us yes he didn't need to phone you. There were several from players scrolling shoot 'em ups and Zeppelin games, I think, as well. This is better than all of them. So well done, um, the team behind this one. Oh, onto the helicopters. So I think we're maybe progressing on this level. Yeah, this is a lot easier to play than using keyboard. Oh. End of level. Boss. Phase 2. Anything different? Oh! We're in space now. Space bogeys. No, I think they're UFOs. Mission Genocide was a budget shooter. Oh, yeah. Definitely not better than Mission Genocide. Or Warhawk. I'm thinking about those like kind of like ones released by players and Zeppelin and Codemasters and all that. But yeah, this is this is good. Probably played it way longer than I should have now. Oh, getting wrecked there. Transmuter. That's that's the badger, Retro on Limb. Thank you. You remembered. Yeah. Better than crap like that. Oh, wrecked. I'm putting the joystick away. That was good. Go to my planet. That was actually quite good. Yeah, horrible scrolling on transmuter. They've all been really good. I think this is. I think this may maybe should have placed higher. That was good. Uh, the am stick, surely. <laughs> no, we've got one actually. Um, Neil Simpson was making one for me. I haven't seen him on the Amstream for a while. Um, he's going to brand it with Amstream logos and stuff. We actually have an am stick being made. I'll show you in a bit. Yeah, that gets a clap. I like that. That was good. Probably should have placed a lot higher in the competition by rights. Right. Not a bad jingle of music there either. So, what is next? So, that was Go to My Planet. Next up, The Angel's Choice. Okay. The Angel's Choice in 21st place. Just under the 100 points mark then, with 97 points. The Angel Choice. 
from Heaven Studio. Okay. Oh, music. Oh, yes, I remember this. Welcome back, Poppy Chicken. Oh, you watched the section about Goatfish too. I wish I could have played it for longer, Poppy Chicken. I think I'm going to be doing some uh, streams on Twitch in the week where um, we're going to be playing more of the CBC Retro Dev games in, in a bit more depth. Yeah. Whole game is around 20 minutes. Can oh, is it completable, Poppy Chicken? I just I just presumed it was like um it would just loop o loop on forever and ever. Right, so this is the angel's choice. Okay. It's a bit cockatony will for the uh, sprite, Velo. What you have to do on this one is you have to jump on top of the enemies and squish them, right? The angel's choice. I'll show you where the angel's choice comes in in a second. I'll show you the angel's choice. The angel's choice is... This doorway at the top of the screen here. Is it easy to squish the enemies on the heaven section? But you can choose to go to hell. This is the angel's choice. You can go to hell instead and squish them in hell. But it's harder to do. Not on the first level though. In hell, sometimes it takes three times to squish them rather than one time in heaven. In hell, sometimes you have to jump on the head three times instead of one time in heaven and you get flames in hell rather than snappy things in heaven. Right? So it's your choice. That's the angel's choice. You can either do it in heaven or you can do it in hell. That's, the, that's why it's called the angel's choice, this game. So, uh, Poppy Chicken, so... Ow, oh, I've lost a life, arse. Oh, I think we just glitched the game. You're not supposed to see that there, by the way. The, the hell section, that shouldn't have appeared there. Haha. <laughs> Do you see those lightning bolts there? Can you see lightning bolts? That, that will hurt you. In heaven. In hell, they're replaced by um, flames and fire, right? So I'll show. You, I'll go and show you hell. So you get more points in hell if you choose to go to hell. It's replaced by flame. Okay, that's why it's called the angel's choice. The Goatfish 2 is completable, is it, uh, Poppy Chicken? Uh, so, yeah, this is oh, game over. All oh, right, I, I, I remember. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't get too cross. This is this is a uh, student's game. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, the collision detection is at times a little bit iffy on this and obviously a bit teeny tiny sprites but um i like how they've um tried to do something a little bit different with a platforming game here uh those letters flying about they will give you a bonus life if you've like been hit you get free free lives you don't want to collect that because we've not like made a mistake yet yeah, it's not the most exciting game in the world, uh, but it's, it's okay. You have to keep uh, you have to kill enough enemies to move to the next level and keep going, basically. Um, 
fairly original, Velo. Yeah. Yeah. Fast level and we go to the next level. And now we get some different enemies. These are... Sorry, it's glitched a bit there. Uh, these enemies now... Oh, gosh. Uh, move about. So now they're a little bit... These guys are a little bit harder to kill. Fish that one. Yeah, the scrolling there is a little bit glitchy. And I've... I think I might have glitched the scroll there. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that's not... Oh dear, I think this level's glitched. It's not... Yeah, it's not scrolling up. Oh, there it is! Oh dear, yeah, it's sort of gone a bit wrong there. Oh, never mind. It's okay. Probably ran out of time to sort of fix that bug. Yeah, the CPC teller is not great for scrolling and stuff like that. Pass the level. And yeah, get more of the same there. So there you go. Oh yeah, it sort of glitched there again <laughs> a little bit. Ah! And it's it's fixed itself here. There you go, go into go into hell. There you go. So that was the um the angel's choice. There, we're gonna have to move on. We're running at, uh, running vastly late here. I need to be finished. God, it's nearly three in the morning. Holy crap. Right, okay. Next up then. That was the Angel's Choice. Next up, Bubble Duck in 22nd place. Okay, Bubble Duck. Ah, sounds quite cute, this one. Bubble Duck. Very jousty. <laughs> oh, we've got some music here. OPQ and X to shoot. Robin gives it a clap there. The poppy chicken. He didn't um, answer my question. Can, uh, can Is there an ending to Goatfish 2? Is, it, is, it, is the game completable? Or does it just loop on forever and ever and ever and ever? I'd love to like see if I can actually get to the end of Goatfish 2. If so, I, I will actually go and um, see if I can actually do a stream of it to get to the end. Oh, yes, it is completable. There's three levels. <gasps> really? Awesome. And if you uh, send me a DM, would you be interested in seeing if you could get it on, get your game, uh, maybe have to ask, uh, get permission from Fran. Because it's going, it'll be going on the CPC Retro Dev tape. Would you be interested in trying to get your game on Ant Stream? Uh, you can actually earn some money from it as well. Uh, it's a very basic, basic message at the end, and there's only 20 minutes to play through. Because we could run some tournaments on your game on Ant Stream, because you can have leaderboards and all that, and set game challenges and stuff. And that'd be really cool to get the community playing your game online and actually having running some running some tournaments on it. That'd be really cool. Anyway. OP. Oh, level cleared. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at the cute duck sprite. Oh. oh, so the duck has to shoot the target. Oh, you should shoot that. Ah, bubble duck. Level clear. Ah, shoot the crocodile. You can't shoot while he's jumping, though. Shoot the red angry duck, and the uh, you had a little red energy bar at the top corner there, but you didn't see it very quick. It only appeared very quickly. <laughs> Angry crocodile there again. 
like the duck sprite. Shame it's not animated, but like it's cute. <laughs> nice cute music. Thanks so much for very flattering. And, and I'll get you. I'll put you in touch with the right people at Amstream. Yellow Belly's games on there, and a few other people's uh, on the Amstrad scene. Homebrew games and stuff. Duck. Not a bad little game. What are we thinking to Bubble Duck boys and girls? Oh, we fried a letter there at someone. Okay. It's pretty uh, easy so far. It says kill them all at the top of the top of the screen. I've only just noticed that. A very violent duck, then. Brief. Oh! We finished the game. Are we to do a Fitzroy game on a stream? We'll, we'll have to see, yeah. <laughs> it's better than Ed the Duck. I don't think Ed the Duck was that bad. <laughs> I quite like Ed the Duck, actually. Actually, well, the thing is, we finished Bubble Duck very quickly. But there you go. That was Bubble Duck. We'll take the opportunity to move on. Well done, Bubble Duck. That was fun. Um, next up, in 23rd place, is Shark. Let's crack on. Let's crack on. Shark from Gwerty Developers. Something. All right. All right. This is called Shark. Right. We'll have to see Mean Zai didn't like that one as much. Uh, no, it's okay. I don't know if I want to dedicate a whole stream to it, though. We'll see. I'll have a, we'll have a thing. Like, like if I do, um, what do you, what do you call it? Um, penguin attack on Twitch, and I, and I get through it, and I've got like an hour, like half an hour, an hour left. Maybe I might fire it up for you or something. Shark, press space to start. Level one. Oh! Oh my god, it's a shark em up. Oh, I remember this. Right, don't uh, just don't spam me shots. They recharge by that meter bar at the top. Oh, level two. Oh, God. I remember this. This is like ridiculously hard on level two. Ah! Smile, you son of a bitch! If I let Anna's message through there. Harry attack underwater. Ah, oh, yeah, I remember this one. Level 2 is impossibly hard. I never got past level 2 when I was testing this. Special name says meh, needs a lot more polish. Uh, uh. Yeah, I remember getting very frustrated by level 2 on this. I was like, it could have been not bad, actually. But I just could, I could get past level 2. I think there's only three levels in the actual game. <laughs> Those bloody red sharks. Are you, uh, excuse me, uh, you can't move left and right, I think. Those red sharks, those goddamn, like, giant bubble attacks. <laughs> um, nice and colourful. Um, I like the shark pictures. 
That's good. Oh my god! <laughs> it's very frustrating. Uh, you should be able to move uh, left and left and right. Uh, the bubble attacks from the red sharks are too big. Um, music's okay. You need to basically kill those red sharks as soon as they appear. Oh god. But yeah, it's just too hard for stream. But at the start of a really good game, but ran out of time. Exactly. Alright, one more go. Die, Red Shark. Die, Red Shark. Die! Right, I'm done with that. <laughs> good effort. Good effort. But because of time being short and... Uh, because the time being short, I'm I'm really really freaking tired, and we've got so many games to get through. I'm gonna have to leave that one. Um, I I remember tr trying that level over and over and over when I was like trying to like um do my judging and stuff like that. I just couldn't get off level two, couldn't get off it. I, I took snapshot reloads and reloaded, 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 just trying to get anywhere on that second level. I couldn't do it. But well done, team. Yeah, I think you had a good a good basis there for a potentially a good game. But it seemed like you ran out of time, as uh, as uh, Velo said there. But never mind. Good try. And good score there, getting 23rd place. Right, 24th place. Nova Race. Nova Race. Any relation to Nova Bug? I'm not sure. Let's find out. From Chunky Panda. Right, Bales Road. Oh, I've got a snapshot. Oh, cool. I took a snapshot when I was judging, so... Ah, oh, I think this is a Super Sprint clone, if I remember correctly. Alright, I'll try that again. Let's go. It's a... Super Sprint clone. Bloody hell! They don't often get like a racing kind of game uh, in the in the CPC Retro Dev, but here we are. Ah, uh, I get used to this. Well, um, graphics are a bit dull. But like, uh, it's not too bad. Rolled uh, are okay. Just yeah, just tapping the accelerator around the around the bend. Oh, a one. Nice. Hey, okay. Um, it's a shame that it's sort of like rectangular. You need to, but you need to have an. It would have been nice to have sort of like circular bends and stuff like that. It would have fitted quite nicely. Um, sorry, I was reading a DM there. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it would have been nice to have like like get, rather it be rectangular. You're just getting stuck on the corners there. It would be nice to have a nice bed, but I could understand why from a coding point of view. Oh, we got a change of a track there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh. Yeah, getting sh stuck on sh sharp corners, basically. Uh, oh my god, the computer opponent has got a lot better. At least, at least a 1-1 one -one race. I think I'm going to get lapped here. Jeez. Oh god, don't lap me. Oh, game over. Yeah, okay that. I, uh... 
<laughs> yeah, let's face it, Ocean released worse. Well, certainly US Gold did, and Domark, and uh, you know, two purveyors of filth in the, in the full price world. <laughs> uh, Anna, yes, the purveyors of arse candles. Um, but yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, that was Nova Race. Uh, there you go, Nova Race. Not bad, that one. Not bad. We actually have another one. It, it... Oh, actually, funny enough, I think the next game is very, very similar to this one. So we'll fire this up quite quickly. In 25th place is Color Jets. Color Jets, right? I think this is actually very similar. About as good as BMX Simulator. Not quite as good, I would have said. Yeah, QOP, place to start. I think. <laughs> We've got another Super Sprint kind of clone. This time a Space Jet. And actually, control wise, this plays a bit better. But unfortunately, the track layout and actually the graphics aren't as good. Oh no! Lose! Ah! Future opponents harder. I'm trying to take the bends uh, a little bit tighter than them. Try and get a little competitive edge. Did have it? Oh no, I did have it then. Move turning. This looks like it moves a bit faster and smoother as well, doesn't it? Oh no! <laughs> right. Hit. Right. I bet it looks smoother on a CRT. Everything does. Oh, CRT smoothing. Oh. Oh no. No. I just want to see the next like um map or whatever you want to call it, race track. Do they have any better designs? Than just a basically a big rectangle. Oh, I'm ahead. Yes! There we go. We got a win. We got a win. We got a win. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, to take, it, take your foot off the accelerator. Okay, this is a bit more interesting. I actually think this is better than the uh, Nova Race. Uh, Physics-wise, this is actually better. Slightly better. In terms of the physics and handling and the speed... And all that kind of stuff. Definitely. Physics is better. But the at the graphically presentation wise it's not a good not as good. But okay, we ran out of time for that uh, on, on these. But okay, that's quite good. But just like visually and design wise and the tracks, 
just not very good but well done because the coding the core coding is good just needs a lot of just needs more time to develop and get the track layouts and get something interesting going there okay right okay we really need to crack on really need to crack on so um z jetpack is next in 26th place okay we're cracking on we're cracking on z jetpack by the z80 enjoyers wow that's a good name for a team z the z the z80 enjoyers that's a good name for a coding team <laughs> UAOP. <laughs> so you're just flying around in a jetpack, avoiding stuff. Oh god, I've taken two hits already. <laughs> I like the mad floor there. Oh, oops, you die. Press 1 to try again, or escape to go back. We'll try again. I'm so tired, but I've gone this far. We'll get to the end, Velo. We'll do it. We'll do it all together. Thank you for sticking it out, Velo. You're a real one. My back is killing me right now. Oh, there's a bonus life there. I think I missed. And I just lost a life. Damn it. Ah, you died. Try it again one more time. I like the main sprite. It was very and softy in the main sprite. And I like that. Oh. My God, he's quite a porky fellow, isn't he? When he's, in his, when he's flying in his jetpack. Yeah, it looks like his back's killing him too, Anna. Damn it, I lost a life already. A little game, this really. A little avoid them up in the jetpack. Wait, give me my um, life there. I lost one and I should have been able to pick that up. Never mind. I like how Zyber said he wanted to try and finish early tonight, too. Ha! <laughs> ha! <laughs> I know, hey, on. I know. Rip. Mrs. Zyfe going, she gonna be mad with me in the morning. You ain't gonna be happy. Oopsie dad. Uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a cool. That's cool. I quite like that. That put a smile on my face. That was Z Jetpack. There we go. Quite a cool little game that. This could have easily been Jetpack Roland. Roland goes jetpacking. Yeah. Not bad. What did we think to that one, boys and girls? <laughs> That's got some charm to it. So, I like that. The game has got a bit of charm. Yeah. Robin goes okay. I would love a game when you die. It just went arse. 
<laughs> if I coded a game, I would do. I would make sure that goes in, Anna. Yeah, I like it. Velo gives it a clap as well. Awesome. I'm happy now. You saw the moustache game. Excellent, Blibble. Did you rewind the stream to see it? <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Brilliant. I wish I'd spent. I want to spend more time on Zed Jetpack, but we're gonna move on. 27th place with Zombie Disco. God, send game. Go. Zombie Disco. We'll get done by half three at the latest, I think. We can do it. We can do it. Zombie Disco by Pandemics Studio. Oh, what a name. <laughs> oh, hang on. Let me move my um, results there. Zombie Disco. Zombie Disco. Right, two to show controls. OPQA space. Right. Two minutes a game can be done. Okay, let's do it. Oh, this is another one of those single screen, OP, up, down, left and right, space, fire. Shoot things that appear on a screen, keep going. Uh, I think these are meant to be zombies in a disco. And you've got a nice afro. Uh, yeah, we get a lot of these kind of games in the uh, CPC, CPC Retro dev. My shot's kind of glitch in there. Round seven already, okay. Ooh, something graph just a little graph Oh Oh he died. Yeah, some graphical glitches here and there. Mord can hold out to 4 a.m. No, I won't go as late as that. Uh, is it glitched? I think the game might have glitched. Hang on a second, guys. One sec. Sorry, I had to sort something out on the floor there. Uh, I think the game has glitched. But I've um, I played this offline for my judging thing, and basically you just get endless zombies just keep spawning and spawning and spawning. I think I don't, you don't get to see much else. But yeah, that was um, that was zombie disco there. And unfortunately, I think it has glitched. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of like this Smash TV. Uh, yeah. But there's not, you just stay on the same screen, or the, uh, you don't move on to any other screen. Yeah. So, yeah, that was Zombie Disco there. Unfortunately, um, it cra it's crashed there. We're running out of time. So we'll move on. Um, but basically, you just get the same enemies. Sort of, I think you get the same enemy. You get slightly different sprites every now and again. Uh, but it's the same thing over and over. Anyway, next up um, in 28th place is... Do I feel like... Is that a bit, is that a bit unfair to move on? Though I've, we've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more games to go. So I think we'll have to move on. Um, Sapphire Palace in 28th place. 28th place, Sapphire Palace. Um, I feel a bit mean, actually. We'll give Zombie... No, we'll give Zombie Disco another... We'll give Zombie Disco a quick, just one more quick shout. Because if the students like watch back, they'll feel, they'll feel a bit sad, won't they? One more quick go then. One more quick go for Zombie Disco. They would feel a bit sad, wouldn't they? 
if they want to see their guy their game covered, wouldn't they? So let's see if there's any more sprites and stuff. Because they may watch back on catch up and um, be all excited to see their game covered, and they don't want to see me being grumpy because I'm just because it's it's 3 a.m. and I'm tired. <laughs> That's not fair, is it? Right. Okay. Okay, there we go. Right, we got to round seven last time, didn't we? There we go. I mustn't forget that people do watch on catch up, and uh, the students will be out drinking at bars and probably getting quite drunk tonight and having a good laugh. So they may well want to watch on catch up the next day. Whoa! Actually, oh, we've got some different movements now. We've got some of them bouncing around like a mad thing. Oh! Screen went red there, probably because I took a hit. Round 10. Round 11. But I think it pretty much stays the same. I think that's all the zombie sprites you get to see on this game over screen anyway. So there you go. You're a good man's life and possibly a masochist too. I think we will have to move on from that now because, yeah, we're running rapidly out of time. So next up, 28th place is Sapphire Palace. Sapphire Palace. Let's get that up and running. Sapphire Palace. From Apsu Games. Sci-fi lad, you need to rest your eyeballs. I do. I do. Alex Ogle. It's goodness gracious you're still going. You're a monster. I know. I know. We're nearly there. We're getting there. Sapphire Palace. Press space. Oh my goodness. Music. P-A-O-P. Oh, okay. It's move around the maze, avoid the monsters, get to the exit. Simple as that. All right. It's an avoid them up, get to the exit. There's literally nothing more to it than that. It's, it's bright and colourful. Interesting music track. I like the way Zai laughed and said he wouldn't go to 4 a.m. Bloody hell. Better not be. Tits. Don't off shift about the sprite. Oh my goodness. Fenrir! Fenrir with a five pound donation! <laughs> Bloody hell. Hardcore Amstrad fans still here at 3.15 a.m. Watching the most hardcore Amstrad streamer still playing at this time. Cheers everyone. <laughs> Bananas in the chat. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Fenrir. Thank you very, very, very much. The very kind donation. A very generous donation of five pounds there. Bananas in the chat for Fenrir. Thank you, mate. You are indeed hardcore. At 3 a.m. Later than 3 a.m. Right. Alright, just do this room and then I've probably seen enough here. You can see what the game's like. I, I think it's a, a very, very decent effort. Bright, bold, colourful. 
crazy music. Oh my goodness, look at this ring. And we did it, there we go. I wonder how many levels there are, but uh... What do we what do we think to do to void them up? Fenrir, thank you very, very, very much, mate. I do appreciate that and your support, dude. Thank you very, very much, mate. There's no worries, much deserved. Not many of us show this dedication to the contest. Showing some pretty awesome games. I know. It's so hard finding the right balance of how much time do you dedicate to each game, especially to the winners and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we've got moving, e moving exit door on this one. Bloody hell. Oh, you have to go this way. Ah! Oh, we did it! We beat the game. Bloody hell. Press S. Hey! Oh, we finished the game. All right. Okay, right, let's move on. Well done, that was uh, Sapphire Palace. Hey, GG's. Quickly then, next one. Right, god damn it, we've got Cowtail, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Right, we're, we're gonna really crack on. Right, okay, a Cowtail is next. A Cowtail in 29th place. We're gonna crack on now and try to do these as like two, three minutes at a time. Oh god, right, no, quicker than that. Right, so a Cowtail. Right, we're spending too long. We're spending too long. So, we'll have to be quicker than this. Right, a cow tail. Oh, God. I remember this one. <laughs> right, I have to remember. Where's the controls for this one? 41 minutes for seven games. Moo! I need to try and remember the controls for this one. Um... Oh. The, the, you need to control two cows jumping simultaneously. You for the one cow. What's the other cow's control? God damn it. Why is it not working? I worked this out before. Ah, I can't remember the controls. I can't remember the controls. Bloody hell. Um, shoot. Uh, and they didn't have a bloody manual. The game. Shoot. I'm trying to get the cow jumping at the bottom of the screen. Stop milking it. Cowadunga. Got the bottom cow jumping. Got the top cow jumping. Why isn't the bottom cow jumping? Oh! Oh, 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 I've got it. P. P and Q. Got it. Right, you control two cows. So you're gonna control two cows at the same time, okay?
So you've got to control two cows but at the bottom of the screen and the top of the screen. <laughs> it's quite cute, this, actually. Ah! Jump the farmer. <laughs> Moo! There you go. It's actually quite, it takes a quite, it's quite some concentrating. It's interesting now. Ah! <laughs> there, there, moo, moo, moo. God. God, this takes some doing. It's all in Spanish as well, which doesn't help. Me. Oh my God, what the hell was that? Will make quite a good mobile game, I think. Actually, what the fart? I think you always have to know they're coming. Get over them. Right, but that's a cow's tail. We're running out of time for that one, but that was cool. That was interesting. A cow's tail. A number twenty-nine. And number 30, it's Geometry Escape. Do we like that one? <laughs> Stop milking it. It's innovative. It looks utterly impossible. Kids could play this together. I can't think of anyone when you control... I can't think of any more when you control two at once. It's a shame there's no music. Yeah, where's Musa when we need him on the stream? Never mind Flappy Birds. We've got Runny Cow. <laughs> Right, next up, Geometry Escape at number 30. We're in the 30s now. Hurrah! Hurrah! Number 30. <laughs> I did quite like um, A Cow's Tale. Um, let's just play. Oh, there's music. It's another avoid em up. Get to the exit and... Oh, God. A bit like that... The, the the second uh, the previous game to Cow's Tale just avoid things get to the get to the exit. Oh, but this time we got lives before it's game over. The graphics are a bit sort of uh, crude on this, but it it it, it, it moves about smoothly. Ah, oh, damn it. It looks like we're moving about credit cards or something like that. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. And get to the black area there. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it, for what it is, it plays fine, um, obviously it's not, uh, terribly exciting, but it, it, it works. Oh, we've only got two lives left. Ah, oh, game over. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. That was that was Geometry Escape. Uh, I think we've pretty much seen what we're going to see from this. Ah, oh, tits. There you go. That was Geometry Escape. Uh, another sort of avoid em up game. Um, play smoothly. Controls look nice and responsibly. And... Um, music's okay, actually. Yeah. Um, just the graphics a little bit crude. Um, there's, it's a, a, a game we've sort of seen like a hundred times before, but well done. Nicely programmed and it works. Um, quite tough. Very tough there. So, well done. That was a Geometry Escape there. This is far too good for Amsoft. Oh, oh. So he played and paid for, uh, for a lot worse back in the day. <laughs> that is true. 
All right, next up, we've got Arian. Ar Ar Arian. Arian. Something there in 31st place with 64 points. So, Ar Arian. Arian. Okay. Oh, yeah, I had trouble loading this up, if I remember correctly. Um. Oh, crap. This is one I had to load from bloody tape. Right. So, don't worry. We can just load this up in like a thousand percent speed. Boom. Tape like the old days. Yeah, we could load it up at a thousand percent speed, could you? Oh, it's loaded. There we go. Bang. Move and space attack. Right, there we go. And then enter to play. Ah, oh, remember this. Oh. Right, he only attacks when the yellow thing is facing forward. The green bar above... The sprite's head is the energy bar. So when that yellow thing faces forward, he attacks, he sees, right? Ah! And that's me attacking. Can you see that in front of me? That's my, like, attack thing, okay? Yeah, screen glitches when you move to another level. It, it doesn't look very good, does it, there? Energy bar going down. Killed it. Spam, spam, spam. Got it. Oop. Hit there. Move out of the way, quick. Spam. Yeah, the screen kind of glitches when it moves. Uh, green blobby thing. Another level. Killed it there. Killed that. Die, you son of a bitch. Spam it hard enough. The monster sort of glitches in place there when you're hitting it. Out the way. Oh. I think we beat it. I think we won. If I remember correctly. Or did I die there? I can't remember. That, but that was Orion. Uh, Orion. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's makings of a game there. Obviously, it feels very kind of like unfinished. Like a, like a sneak em up thing. Like, like maybe like you're like a, supposed to be like a, like a ninja or something. There's, ma there's makings of a game there and an idea, but like, unfortunately, it just feels like it was like unfinished or something. Oh, 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 I'm getting wrecked there. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. That was uh, Orion. Orion. We're going to have to move on there. We're running out of time. Uh, next up, 32, 32nd place, though. Um, okay, says Robin. Gives it a bit of a clap. Oh, it's like the original Wolfenstein. Yeah, it could have been like that. It could have turned into like one of the original Wolfenstein. Every single one of these games is better than anything I could do. Exactly, exactly. So well done, students, there. Well done, well done. Exactly. Better than anything any most of us could do, <laughs> including myself. Uh, next up. 32nd place, Haunted House. Ooh, Haunted House in 32nd place. Haunted House. From Windows Studio. Right, Haunted House. Ooh, music. OPQA and M to shoot. Excuse 
Oh, it's a bit like a uh, zombie disco. Got ghosts. <laughs> it's another sort of single screen shooter. Oh, I've got it. Ah! I mean, it moves about the screen smoothly enough, like zombie disc. Oh, oh no. to start all right we'll give it we'll give it another go Some kind of zombie got me there if you shoot diagonally okay I didn't know that got him I just don't know where the ghosts are going to come spawn from. This is cauldron free. Bloody hope not. Same with QAOP is awkward when you want to... Well, I've been st sticking the centre of the screen, I think. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Alright, one more. Go. Mainly QAOP is awkward. I think cursor keys would have been better. M to shoot. I wish you could redefine keys on this. Oh, and some. Yeah, is that a pumpkin y witch thing came out? I think that's a pumpkin thing. Oh, but he is. Might be cauldron free. Dead. Exactly, Fenrir. Then I'm amazed I've not seen anything I'd describe as crap tonight. They're all respectful efforts so far. Exactly. Totally agree. Uh, Mr. Paul Henderson, Fenrir there. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yes. Yeah. All right. That was Haunted House there. Well done. Well done again, students. Have a student game there. Next up. Retro Ninja in pl in place 33. I actually quite like this one. I'm surprised it was <coughs> as low as it was, actually. Retro Ninja in place number 33. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're half three. Bello, you predicted... Um, what did you predict? 3.40 in the morning, didn't you? Went far off. Four left. Uh, why is the patrols not working? Oh, it's weird. It's J K. Right, L L L for the right, J for left, I for jump, and Z for sword. Right, okay. Oops. I had a lot of fun playing this game. I think this should be a lot higher. Starts off a bit simple. Still the blob opens up the portal. Oops. Oh, it glitchy. Went a bit glitchy. Ah! Oh, 
simplistic graphics, but I think they work well. Why is it so low? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I thought this would end up quite higher because later on it actually does get a lot more involved and there's actually boss battles and all sorts. I, I, I honestly sometimes I don't understand how the, the judging works out. Maybe just doesn't excel in each of the categories. It's it's not got the oh, oh, the greatest of graphics. Um, it's not got the greatest of music. It, uh, I, I, it's not, maybe it's not the greatest of gameplay, but but it, it's just fun. Oh, ass oh, biscuits. I I don't know. try and do is try and at least try and get his to oh the bloody hell like the first boss or something like that I should I should be having this difficulty because it's actually not that hard Uh, so this is as we hire as it's good. We think my time polish should be fantastic. Great tune. Not bad, it sounds good. I'm not a fan of the sprites bouncing up and down. It screams modern indie. Move is a little bit too fast though to split ball. Never knew foxes could spit fire or even float. I'm now scared of foxes. <laughs> Firefox. Don't die here, Zai. Music is decent, yeah, on this. Right, come on, let's get to the boss. First boss! There you go. There you go, first boss. And on to the second section. I'll have to leave it there because of time, but I think this is a really cool little game. And it's really, really fun to play. So I have no idea why why this is um why this is so low. And the next level the next level, this level ends up having two giant bosses side by side you have to fight um and then you got another level after a whole another level after that with no actually you get more new enemies on this level you get bats that come flapping down after you there's like, i think there's like some skeletons i think coming after you as well on this level but uh, i don't know why this ended up so low uh, it's bizarre why no one picked up on this one being actually quite good um i don't get it don't get it uh, honestly, I think this should be in top 10. <laughs> honestly, I do. Uh, actually, what was in top 10? Um, yeah. I thought Tiny Deathmatch should have been top 10. And I think this one should have been... How this got... How this ended up... At number uh, 33... Is shocking. I don't get it. Our Tiny Deathmatch, the Worms game, got number 14. I don't get either. Uh, a Tiny Deathmatch should have been in top 10. 
Retro Ninja should have been like knocking on the door of top 10 as well. But hey, that's what happens. I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe the graphics weren't uh, exceptional enough. The music wasn't exceptional enough. I don't know. I don't know. But there you go. Anyway, we best move on. We've got a few more games to go. Three more games to go. Akuma No Bokon is at number 34. How many points did I give the game? Uh, it means opening up my spreadsheet and that's time consuming. Go on then. Retro Ninja. Um, in my graphics category, uh, it got 11th place. Uh, 11 place for graphics. Um, I uh, I have to give uh, 15 games. I have to uh, I have to submit 15 games for my graphics category, and he got uh, and he was 11th place. I think that was about fair. Anyway, um, where was I? Um, so uh, Akuma no Bakken. Akuma no Bakken in 34th place. Akuma no Bakken. Akuma Matata. Right. To be honest, yeah, you're right, Vano. There is top ten is packed with games that deserve to be there. There is a lot of like great games. Great, fail to load. Ah, that means we've got to load it from tape. Actually, reset first, just in case there's any crap in the memory. Right, and. Oh, I know. It's one of my latest streams. Viper, do all the judges have to, their own criteria to judge on, or are there any... Hang on a second. Uh, do all the judges have their own criteria to judge on, or are there any just judging the efforts as a whole? We, we each have our own criteria that we're told. Like, it gets randomly selected by a random thing, and then we're told we're judging... You're judging graphics, you're judging AI, you're judging... Uh, playability or whatever. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, this is very yellow. And using WASD to move around and then the cursor keys for the direction of the sword attack okay you cannot be using the sword you cannot move whilst using the sword attack take a few hits to kill oh I oh, got him. Or did I die? I think there's any sound at all. Oh, they died. Okay. Ah, uh, oh, no, 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 no. Game over. Press space. Um, I don't. I don't think Fitzroy got any points for graphics, Beno. Um, I don't think that's Fitzroy game is it, it, its strength is not in its graphics. I think its strength is in its gameplay, Bello. Uh <laughs> Yeah, this is a bit cascade fifty if it's yellow, yeah. So yeah, I can see why this is a bit weak, but like a nice effort from the team there. And the students. Um, I mean, it works. It's a little like an arena battler, I guess. Uh, it's nice you've got like a, a separate control scheme to like use your sword. So you've got use a cursor key to put the direction of your sword attacks. Um, it's a bit hurting on my eyes though, this. Oh, yeah. I think I've got the hang, hand, handle on this now. Right, 
Right, come on then. And you're wrecked. Ah, now we got the bouncing tomato things and these like guys at home in on you. Nasty. Game over. Okay. So that was uh, Akuma no Bokken. And now we move on to the 35th game, Prevent Invasion. Well done, the Akuma no Bokken team. And now Prevent Invasion at number 35. God, two left. There we go. Prevent Invasion. <laughs> Prevent Invasion. <laughs> oh, no. Spawn bots are back. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. QA, space shoot, papers exit. Right, okay. Credits up quickly then. Uh, created by Ka uh, Kaiser's Games. Okay. All right, let's go on Prevent Invasion. <laughs> All we could do is move up and down. We've got another. Essentially, horizontally scrolling. Well, it's not really scrolling, is it? Shooter. Came over. What? I didn't get a hit there. That was more yellow than yellow, buddy, the last game. Hold down the space bar. Okay, no. Oh, you can't let them hit, get across. Ah. I let them get past me last time. In each one that got to the left, far left of the screen, look, I lost a life from. Okay. Game over. Oh my god, really? You know what? This is. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, considering this is second last. I've seen worse Amsoft games. And, th and they were full price back in 1984. Oh! We've got a boss battle. I would 100% prefer playing this more than some Amsoft titles. So, it just goes to show the quality and the skill of some of these students from the University of Alicante. So, well done, students. Holy crap, well done. Score's going up, so we must be hitting this guy. Doesn't feel like we are sometimes, but yeah. Congratulations, your score, 215 points, escape to escape. Have we beat it? Hey, GG, we have long played another game. Well, that was quite short. I can see, ah, right. Yeah. Okay, that's why it's quite low. <laughs> <coughs> right, okay. That was Prevent Invasion. So we could definitely move on from that one. Well done, team. And last one, the, unfortunately, the game was zero points. Oh, I feel sorry for it. Asteroid Strike. Asteroid Strike. Which, weirdly... Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah, I need to load it from a snapshot. Okay. Why have I not... Huh? Hey, hang on a second. Oh, man, I think it's got another one I've got to load from a tape. Right, bar oh, tape. Right, okay, Asteroid Strike in last place, 36 with zero points. Oh, I feel sorry for it. Hang on a sec, why is that not working? Right, okay, now it will. Quickly then, load it up at 1,000% speed in the emulator. Oh, right, we go, okay. Press P to continue. Oh. 
Oh, yes. I remember this. It crashes when you when you when you when you hit something. <laughs> this is what happened. I had to I had to take a snapshot, remember. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, here we go. Right, okay. Four asteroid strike. But yeah, unfortunately, I think the game basically crashes when you die, literally. So you crash, the game crashes. That's a shame. But I'm... Oh! And the game has actually crashed. Pinesock would have paid for this. <laughs> oh, and then it froze there. Oh, that's unlucky. So, yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, that's unlucky. Never mind. Never mind. That was... That was... Sorry, what was that again? That was Asteroid Strike. Unlucky. Poor Asteroid Strike. So, thank you, guys. That was all the CPC Retro Dev games we got to 3.54 in the morning. And, oh yeah, my view count's been stuck for bloody ages. Let's actually actually refresh it. How many people did we end up with at the end of the stream there? 22 or 23 <laughs> viewers. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, It's been quite a stream tonight. One of our longest streams. It's nearly seven hours. <laughs> Good grief. Thank you, everyone, who made it to the end. What a stream. Thank you, everybody. Um, wow. Bloody shattered. Um, my God, Mrs. Zyper is going to kill me. Thank you, everyone. Right. We shall leave it there. We need to go to our outro. <laughs> oh, no, my moustache game of the year for me, says Flibble. <laughs> Well, what a CPC retro dev. A kind of maybe a shock win at the end there, right at the um, right at the very end of the, all the, um, the votes and stuff with uh, Penguin Attack, like with the uh, leader all the way through, and then Castaway sneaking in at the end there. Wow. But like, um, GG's everyone who took part in the uh, competition. And well done to the students, University of Alicante. Congratulations. Fantastic job. The, the the quality this year. Wow. Fantastic. I mean I mean all of all the entrants have been really, really good. Like, honestly, honestly. Um I think even better than last year. I don't know I don't know how they managed it. So um well done. Uh thank you everyone uh, for sticking with us on a nearly seven hour stream tonight. But next week on, on my Twitch, uh, I think I will be using, um, I will be doing basically CPC Retro Dev games on Twitch next week. So, um, yeah, Penguin Attack on Monday. I might do Castaway on Tuesday instead of Ant Stream. So uh, you might get another week on the Ant Stream Tournament Challenge for those who are listening. Um, yeah, um, yeah, so we might uh, dedicate a whole week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to CPC Retro Dev games. We shall see. I'll see how I feel. Thank you, everyone. People said, this is why Zypho is Mr. Amstrad. <laughs> Thank you, Flibble. Thank you. Um, yeah, there, there was also that as well. Bello. I don't know how many people have left fallen asleep with the telly left on. Um, Fenrir says, cheers for another awesome showcase, Zypho. Great to see you. Another great year of CPC Retro Day. But I still don't think there were many. Er, there were, wasn't any total stinkers. Uh, yeah, apart from poor old asteroid uh, asteroid attack, wherever it was at the end there, uh, what's happened? One game that didn't work. Yeah, it just yeah, unfortunately, it wasn't finished, was it? 
Uh, thank you, Fenrir. Thank you. Um, thank you, Velociraptor. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, Robin. Thank you, Anna. I know. Thank you, Anna, for sticking with us there. Um, cheers, Maud. Sneaky Maud. Ow. My fella, Ow. Cheers, mate. And Nightwolf as well. Thank you, everyone. That's been awesome. So, um, hopefully I should be back on Monday or Tuesday um, we'll, on Twitch. Uh, we'll be doing... We shall be investigating Castaway in more detail. We shall certainly be doing Penguin Attack and giving that a damn good playthrough. Um, and thrashing. What else of those games? Um, I want to definitely want to investigate Dire Dare and more in, in more depth. Goatfish too. Gotta have a look at that. I a, uh, I've been told there's an ending to the game and three levels. Who would want to see a two-player co, a two-player action between me and Mrs. Zypho on Bewitched or Be Dead as well? That's got to be done at some point. Yeah, yeah. And we've got to get a new video for the YouTube channel as well at some point. Yeah, so um, I'll get working on that from next, from this week onwards as well. And I'll get some uh, Patreon content for you as well, boys and girls, in the AM squad. So thank you for your continued support in there. Take care, everyone. I hope you have an awesome weekend. I'm off ski now. I'm off to bed. Thanks, everyone. Take care. And um, I'll see you all again very, very soon. All right. My thing's set here. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Take care. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you soon. Good night and goodbye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.